And we are here, ladies and gentlemen, Combo Breaker 2023, and we have some third strike pool action coming your way. I'm Humbag, brought to you here with Action Hank, good buddies from the Midwest. Yep. We've known each other for well over a decade or oh, more. Yeah. <laughs> uh, gone Great back and forth in some third strike tournament matches ourselves. Yeah, both playing against and with each other on e teams. Exactly. So. But yep. uh, we're going to have some uh, pool action, like I said, coming up here. Uh, got well over 130, 40 people in this. It's a massive bracket. It, it is a Lots very of pools large today bracket. to get through. Um, but very, you know, stacked brackets all all around. Um, we're looking at a lot of the same folks we saw come out to Frosty Fausting. Yep. And Combo Breaker 2022. I'm sure coming up here pretty soon, we have the winner of Combo Break, uh, Frosty Faustings this year, uh, Big Red from Chicago. So a lot of local presence. Very. Uh, Third Strike's really been in a resurgence the last few years. Yeah. Shout-outs to the Jazzy Circuit, putting on Mutant great XP. events across the yep. country. Mutant XP, shout-outs to him. Doing the Lord's work. Our first match coming up here. That's going to be Science versus Dingen Loops. I'm going to take a, a wild guess as to who Dingen Loops plays here. I'm going to take a wild guess that he's <laughs> going to be using not Dingen. <laughs> he is using Shinsho. Is, is that Dingen Loops? Or is, okay, yeah, the names are switched. Yeah, so, of course, Dingen Loops on Ryu, but using Shinsho against the Twins. Uh, you know, high-damaging super, one of those yeah. can put the, put the Twins to sleep right away. And so. already, interesting use, using EX Meter with a one-bar super. Usually not something you want to do, but EX, EX Fireball from Ryu is a really important tool, which is why a lot of people use SA2, SA3, uh -huh. Shorter bars, etc. Okay, no, it looks like science is the Ryu player, so all right. All right, no, we got it backwards. So, <laughs> so Dingen Dingen Loops with a yeah. Yeah, misleading name. Um, but, hey, playing Yang, Super R2 Yang, I think, is in a bit of a resurgence recently. Um, if you watched Cooperation Cup this year, yep. lots of Yangs in the field, and they were dominating a good amount of the time, too. And just like that, that is one of the most important good tools that Yang has. EX Mana Slash is really strong, really fast. Excellent use of meter. Builds Stun Bar really fast, too. Yeah. And, and you get a follow-up after it. Yang players are looking to finish with a certain strength um, behind both the regular slashes and the EX slashes, so they get better Oki and knockdown opportunities off of that. Yep. Um, so far, Dungeon Loops still threatening here with these Mantis slashes. Science content to play a little more. Doesn't get the link lame. there. Teleports keeps it close. Gets the launcher down. There's the low fort yeah. and crouching hit. Look at that stun bar right. build up. We're really close to that. Oh, wish. And that's, yeah, that's going to build it. the stun. Yeah. Yes. Round one's going to go to Dungeon, Dungeon Loops. Loops. Very clean, strong Yang play right there. Yeah, Yang really dangerous when he gets that uh, close medium kick launcher because that sets you into a you know a three way mix up basically yep. between command grab, low, you know, a lot of, a lot of different mix ups actually can come out of that. So, Yang's definitely a character in this game that sits right in that tier, just below the top tier. Yeah, like Yang is super strong, has a lot of the string, same strength as Yun. Right. Obviously doesn't have Ganajin, which is the best super in the game, other than right. possibly SA2 from Chun. But the fundamental alone can carry you yeah. as Yang. He's just a very reactive, wait your turn and know your punishes type character. But if you can do that well, you saw right there, Dungeon Loops just annihilating that stun bar. So, Science here coming back, still using SA2. Didn't get any chances to even come close. That's the problem with SA2 with Ryu. He doesn't really have a whole lot of ways to confirm into it. Can do point blank short short. Yeah. Uh, can do like a close medium kick confirmed into it. But even from just a little bit too far away, it can completely whiff. Yeah, and spinning the bar again on the EX there. And by the time Ryu's going to build this bar, the round could close to be over. You know, it's, it's yeah. a pretty chunky bar. So it is, it's, it's, it's definitely his worst super to use because it really limits his ability to utilize, like with SA1 and 3, can use those supers and use EX. Yeah, very common philosophy in 3S is pick a super that gives you something Ooh. your character doesn't normally have. Nice continue of that. Got to confirm from that shirt. Yeah. Oh, might have actually could have confirmed <laughs> the super Oh, there. wish that sweep, though. That was dangerous, but Dungeon Loops didn't capitalize. Might take a stray poke and die for it. Oh, gets the ah, throw, though. Gets the throw. Dungeon Loops on match point here, two out of three. Yang has a decent command or a decent regular grab uh, with his Kara. It's not great, but he does have a Kara roundhouse that gives him a little bit more oomph. Yep. So can do that. Getting the air to air trades. Been playing pretty, uh, just been playing pretty safe. Hasn't really been taking too many risks. Now that science is stocked, you always kind of fear the wake up super because you will lose about three quarters of your life. Yeah, yeah. Lost. Yang can't make too many mistakes. As we see here, he's just taking a few stray hits, you know, from some stray mediums from science and already behind. Oh, gets that close medium kick launch back and into the low again. Crouch again. Getting Another caught low. one. And he got caught a low again. And the throw, is it going to be enough here? Baits oh, the shard. Baits it, yeah. yes. 
Dungeon Loops in pretty, pretty uh, good control of that entire set. Good stuff. Takes it 2-0. Science moves into the loser's bracket. Yeah, as you see, the power of Yang, close medium kick launchers, just na and he can do, you know, the fabled SGGK with that that yep. a couple characters in this oh, game yeah. have access to. So gets a lot of option selects from there. Like I said ha having those like super jump cancelable normals is such a really strong, so good tool in this game because you can, if you do it from the right ranges, you can kind of just jump away freely. It's pretty much safe for like said, a lot of characters. To me, yeah. I think one of the greatest buttons in the game, for example, on, of course, the greatest character <laughs> in the game, Chun-Li, her close roundhouse does the same thing. Right. Yeah, and you get, of course, does she really need to have yeah. four options? But, and oh, hey, I recognize who's coming up here on stage, or maybe. Look, never mind. I, we, I have one person I recognize, which is Zanshin, a local Cincinnati player from around my parts. Oh, nice. So, yeah. Yep, I got All it right, here yeah, on we're gonna my have pool here. Zanshin next. Yeah, looks like we're moving over to your side. Yeah, Zanshin versus Orochi Celia. Oh, right. that would be the, I'm assuming, the person cosplaying as a KOF character. Yep, um, Shermie, it looks like. <laughs> uh, or maybe Vanessa. Well, yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, Vanessa. Oh, yeah, not Shermie. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, <laughs> Shermie requires yeah, uh, much more. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's tournament less. appropriate. <laughs> but so maybe, maybe, maybe a little less. Vice, yeah. Vice might be... Uh, yeah, Vice is a good good too. fit. Uh, yeah. Maybe maybe we're moving to a different side. I don't know. We're deciding here. Um, Thinking about it. So anyway, uh, how's your uh, weekend been? I heard you had a flat <laughs> yeah, tire yeah, driving Unfortunately, in. Got, got bodied by a flat. But, you know, hey, sh shout outs to Firestone. <laughs> um, but, yeah, they got us here in, on time, and we're safe and sound, and uh, awesome. we're good. So, awesome. you know, you know, I've, I've had a great time so far seeing all, you know, these people I've known for decades plus now at this point in my life in the fighting game community it's great and seeing new faces of course so many big brackets this year oh yeah uh and you know hey if you're watching uh and you still want to get in line for popcorn baron there's time <laughs> <laughs> but you, it might do you have you a spare few hours to say, to spare? Have a couple hours because shout outs to popcorn baron one of our sponsors gaming generations uh and of course one of the winners of these pools will be getting a complimentary burrito from chipotle so. how about that yeah so all right zanshin check, checking some buttons it looks like i know zanshin is an alex player yeah pretty solid um pretty good at just running that alex rock paper scissors of yeah. getting you into close stun territory and, and then that is that is an, a great way to describe alex he's very much kind of like in uh in major league baseball what they call a true outcome per you know See, I'm, not, I'm not familiar with your Where baseball ways. You either me. strike out, home run, or walk. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes, no, very much so. so Al yeah. Alex is kind of in the same boat. Uh, very high damage, very high stun, but very high committal. Yes. And that is why he's kind of on that and mid, if you mid to lowish area and you, yeah, of the game. Yeah, if you don't play him high committal, you end up losing out on a lot of damage opportunities. It, exactly. You really have to take some... Well calculated risk. Good combo by Zanshin there to uh, confirm into the EX boomerang. Oh, that's going to do. Oh, it keeps it low damage, but he's going to get the jump Stun. in again. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Alex, you can only take two clean hits from oh. him, and you're into the danger Especially zone. Especially off know? of a, a off a jump fierce like that, you're gonna you're gonna take about half your stun bar immediately as well. Yeah. So Orochi Celia's got a. Ken has the tools to keep Alex at bay for sure, but yeah. Zanshin knows that. Zanshin not afraid to jump parry and. Get in there. Nice use. Stun is so close again. There's the other end. That's round. It's so hard to react to. Does a big chunk as well. Zanshin, quick first game. This is a lot of times if, if people are not super familiar with fighting Alex, you get these steamroll matches. Oh, yeah. That character can literally just roll your face yeah, yeah. if you're not prepared. And those EX boomerang uh, slides, you know, get it, he uses those just to close the gap. And close the gap, Zanshin yep. was, was hit confirming into them, which is really good. Hard knockdowns. Yep. Especially since it's a charge move. You gotta, you know, and there is Ooh. some tricky charge partitioning you oh. can do. And very good use of the charging there. Oh, that good, I like those sweeps. Double sweep. Oh, and he went oh. for the uh, <laughs> one more, and that would have been round. Again. Yeah, exactly. Had to, I think, you know, worth it. But uh, Orochi Celia fighting back. Yeah, good pummel throw. Might have been able to link in the super, but that was pretty far. That and I will. That that is the danger, though, of doing those um, the slash elbows. Is Orochi Celia can punish with Ken's super. It is fast enough. And jump in again. Unfortunately, Orochi just been whiffing too much. Some of these committal normals that Zanshin's throwing out, Orochi Celia has the opportunity to uh, whiff punish and or punish uh, on reaction with super. Yep. Nice but, CXDP. Yep. Oh, misses the close medium punch. Misses the sweep. Zanshin doesn't capitalize, though. Alex doesn't really have good fast punishes. Already into the corner here. If he's not close. We haven't seen a command grab once. Are we going to get... Ooh. Oh, doesn't get the parries. Nice. <laughs> wake, <laughs> wake up anti-air command grab. Doesn't work. No. 
looking for the DDT here. Yeah, stun anyway, though. The stun. That's going to be it. It just builds up so quick. With the German suplex to end it. Zanshin moving on. Very quick two games once again. Like I said, we're cruising right now. Keeping his burrito dreams alive. All right. Man, I'm hungry now. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, I just ate, I just ate <laughs> um, before yeah, this, too. You know, I'm right. sitting here mentioning Ch Chipotle and I, Popcorn Baron. Uh, my honestly, bad. burrito, <laughs> taco, if you say it, if you offer it to me, I'm going to eat it. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. No, the reason I always come back to Chicago is the food, ultimately. i not going to lie. The fighting game tournament's fun, but I'm here to eat. <laughs> there is a lot of good food. I, I had uh, the Kore a Korean fried chicken place mm -hmm. the other day that was nearby. Which is funny. It's named. It's basically the same name as a famous Street Fighter player, Bonchan. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> Bonchan. So yeah, no, that stuff is really good. Um, but yeah, all right. Um, who do we have coming up here next? I don't know if we moved back, but we'll find out. Um, Get these names updated here. Yeah, always refresh your brackets at home if you're following along here. I see, you know, a few familiar names here waiting in uh, winner's round, too. I see the the hometown Logan Arcade representative Nipperman in my yep. pool. Nipperman, really strong player from uh, locally from Chicago. Like yeah. I said, IFD Big Red recently winning uh, Frosty Faustings. Uh, I think he also got second place at a jazzy qualifier up mm -hmm. in uh, at Logan Arcade. Okay. Nearby. Oh, yeah, that was very recent. Very recent, actually. Yeah. Uh, I believe Versaga won that one, yeah, coming out from yeah. the West Coast. Yeah, yeah. Versaga traveled out and uh, took that tournament. Yeah, those SoCal players coming out. <laughs> SoCal Third Strike has always oh, been a menace uh, to the United F States. FM1 came Since out to the, the Phoenix yeah. tournament, and he just dem demolished all of us. Mike, this is going to be Mikey631 versus Ishii Holmes. We got Holmes on Makoto, Mikey yep. on Ken. Gray Ken versus Gray Makoto. Here we go. Nice sweep to start it. Already gets the throw pressure. No, no anti air. Oh, nice. Gets that whiff punish on that command oh, grab. That big roundhouse. Oop. Nice. Got a nice back dash to get out of that. Yeah, Ken is not the most jumpy character, but his back oh, the big damage. Read. Big read on that uh, EX Hurricane ah, kick. I was going to say, Ken's not the most jumpy character against Makoto or jumpy in general, but what he does have to fight her is a really strong back dash. Yep, definitely. But. Holmes with oh, the double that, command okay. grab sequence. He went for it again after the first time he oh. backdashed out. Nice. Yeah. Gets the read there. That's what Makoto does. She likes to plant those seeds and then get the big reads. Nice. Slow forward on that. It was charging up a high out, it looked like. Here we go. Oh, nice short short. Oh, no, short jab short. Doesn't work out to super. Doesn't matter. Getting missing knockdowns. His, yeah, missing his confirms, but he's getting the knockdowns and the damage. Oh, just super. Oh, but okay. Gets a whiff punish. Yeah. yeah. It's sometimes actually hard to react to the whiff oh, on that wait. sometimes. It's a little scary. But. Um, yeah, Makoto, uh, unfortunately, very weak in the corner. That's her one bad place to very, I mean, it's bad for everybody, but yeah. for her specifically, because she can't dash out No, she if, can't, if you have it handled. She can't dash out, but the one thing she still does have is just that threat of one parry turning it, yeah. the round around. Into a super. In fact, into super, yeah. With this, with this super art, too, the closer she is to the corner, the worse it is for you. Exactly. She, she wants to distance herself by the timer um, to hit that super correctly, so... That nice, really long reaching, crouching medium pups. No, oh, Mighty could actually punish that. Mikey rushing down here before Holmes gets any meter. Trying to just avoid the Super R2 altogether. Really excellent. Good use. jump, Harry. You're really checking these dashes. Yeah. Good crouching mediums across the board. Oop. Sneaks one Hayate in there. Doesn't get anything from it. Playing a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know. oh, nice. Gets the low. That's going to do him great. One of damage. Got him crouching. Really on the fly hit confirmed for Mikey. Showing he's got those. Really been checking a lot of Holmes' dashes. It cool oh, instantly like that half life. Yeah, they were crouching, you know. Oh! Double short, you know, not quite, but doesn't matter. Big damage, and Makota's in the corner. Just going to super out. This one's going to get paired. Not punished. Okay, just raw super. Keeping, that it, works. Yeah. keeping it safe. Yep. He's got a huge life lead. Round lead gets the taunt for the extra damage. There and is. there's the Hun. parry. Wow, the extra damage on that close medium punch <laughs> was pretty significant. <laughs> yeah, it kind of added up. <laughs> All right, good stuff to Mikey. Moves on. Another 2-0 here. We've been having kind of steamroller matches coming in here to the first round I think of as pools. We close, yeah, as we close towards the end of pools here, we're going to get a few more few more close close rounds. Oh, that Big Red himself. IFD Big Red, the biggest, the reddest coming up. Frosty Frosting's 2023 champion this year. 
Yeah, really strong Ken player. Re really been making a name for himself recently. He's been playing Third Strike for f more than a few years now, and has just been getting better and better and better every time I see him. Is he uh, is he a big online or is he an offline presence? Like, I, I think Dakota honestly, a lot, th the resurgence of the local Chicago Third Strike scene. They, yeah, they they've just been grinding. Shout outs to all those players, man. Shout outs to him out there. I see my friend Jose. Jose, out there. I gotta say, uh, Mr. The Part he's, Two, he's, right? my, he's the mentor of that okay. whole group. Yeah, shout outs well. to Mr. Part Two and Very strong Forcey player. Joe. And uh, Nick Davis, I don't know your tag, Nick. I'm sorry, but he runs the, he runs the Logan stuff. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. getting but a button check here. Shout outs to Big Red, still rocking the classic IFD tag. Uh, that <laughs> Can't say it all, but yeah, you know, myself and Tumbleware <laughs> kind of created a long time ago. Oh yeah, I remember Actually, those run IFD shirts. Fun fun history. The person who technically named it was Ski Sonic. Okay. He was the one who said it, and then I was just like, you're a genius. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, not familiar with Meth Rosenstock, unfortunately. Great name, though. Yeah. <laughs> but Killing yeah. off the life just to reset here. Uh, might be using Makoto, I'm pretty sure. Pretty interesting name here. Yeah, I was going to say, well, hey, if you're playing Makoto. That name's kind of uh, fitting. It, it kind of <laughs> fits, to be honest. You, you kind of need to be on something to get some peak Makoto play going on. We do not, we do not endorse that, but <laughs> you might not be wrong. All right, Big Red playing Blue Ken. Big blue. I like that blue can. All right. Let's see how he stacks up here against Rosenstock. Nice. Good confirm right away. Get, oh, already in there. Got Makoto in the corner again. I really like Big Red's. His use of pressure is very smart and controlled sometimes. Nice reaction block. Yeah. Very good. Gets the throw, though, in the knockdown. Doesn't get the Oki. Gets parried for their troubles and. Ken's back in the mid. Oh, wow. Oh, Empty jump whiff. Looked like he was going to go for the that, cross. -up. That was actually dirtier than it looked. It was. I got hit. Absolutely. That looked like he was going to do that teleport crossover. Oh. Yeah. Just very good zoning right now. Good jump roundhouses. Everything. Nice reaction. IFT Big Red already looking strong right now. This first, is when First Ken's, match of his tournament, too. Kins get so scary when they play this way, when they're like super reactive and defensive, because they just they have this wall that you cannot break. Oh, yeah. It, it feels like you can't do anything. There right, we go. Gets the command grab, gets, gets the party started. started. Never oh, mind. Back in the nice. corner. Got Doesn't you. have to. Yeah. There it is. IFT Big Red takes game one. I did like that. Uh, Rosenstock did some pretty gutsy pressure there. Was trying to go for the confirm. Right. To see if he'd catch him, maybe backdashing or something. Yeah. No threat of Super R2, though, was going with Super R1. So. Yeah. Which, uh, honestly, in this it's matchup, functional. it's yeah. actually very functional against Ken. Uh, There's not too many. Not uh, too many. Not too many characters in the cast that, that Super R's bad on by no. any means. It's just, you know, Super R2's got the real, the real sauce. But. All right. Big Red still putting up a wall. Good reaction DP, yep. but takes a lot of damage yeah, in that trade. Yeah, that trade doesn't work in his favor, but he still gets it reset back to neutral. Yeah, just getting her off of you is more important a lot of the time. Sweet. Stays in front. Oh, low forward. Has meter can threaten now. Gets nice short, short reaction. Super. Wow. Yeah, throwing out these short shorts to check the dashes here. Back in the court. She's dead. And Shorty, she's Shorty. dead. Good <laughs> execution there from Big Red once again. Very looking, good. Just looking strong and impressive to start this tournament. Definitely one of the favorites for top eight. The Exayate knocks him down, but just turns it right back around on Rosenstock back into the corner. Jumps out. Nice Good block, block again. again. Yeah, he's, he's ready for it. <laughs> I mean, what else could be coming from that That's besides true, yeah. possibly a command throw? Right. And so far, yeah, uh, Rosenstock hasn't had the chance to get too many of those off. Oh, fireball check. There Gutsy. it is. I like it. Nice confirm. What's the pressure going to be? Nice low forward. Yep. Kind of actually, that's... <laughs> Not a bad thing to do there. Yeah, no, the Tatsu. Bl blows up parries, because especially it blows up parry into immediate command grab. Right, because he's airborne. Yeah. So, yeah. But this time, Rosenstock's throwing out some buttons and getting, you know, some things are landing here. But IFD, Whoa. Big Red threatening. That didn't even combo, though. Hey! Wow. Cross cut late. Heavy DP using the invulnerability. Might have actually chipped as well. That's pretty tough to do, actually, to do a, you know, a reverse DP last minute like that, like he did, so. Said, Big that's, Red, that's a good I'm sign fine. from Big Red there. He's looking yep. strong and fresh early in this tournament. Like I said, he's looking forward to a pretty light, late run of this, possibly top eight. Yep. Definitely one of the local favorites. Definitely looking like he's going to get a nice pile of guacamole yep. today, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Shout-outs to Meth, you slide it. Meth Rosenstock. Maybe tried, I said, 
I feel like Meth was going for risks and everything, but Big Red was just ready for it. Yeah, him. yeah, just, just they stopping that dash with those low shorts a lot, as we were seeing, and then just any time a stray poke would come out, pretty on point with those parries and to punish super. Yep. Um, Checking dashes with confirms, just it's very strong. Ken and a play. lot of Makoto's less obvious buttons are lows, and he yep. was getting those, and then that puts her in a crouching state. So I'd see the Nipper Man coming up here, former Urian. He has betrayed his brethren, <sighs> his other Urian players, for the great evil. The great evil of Chun Li. So, but hey, it's tournament third strike. No, no, you know, we all respect it. We she, know what she, it is. She ain't banned. She was my main. She's the best character in the game. Back in the day, yeah. You know, I learned the game on her, and then I, I went to more fun pastures. Not necessarily oh, greener, yeah. but. I mean, I had my straight. I had a I had a period where I still played Dudley, but if I ever came across a problem matchup. You'd switch to Chun. I'd switch to Chun just because, hey, I was trying to win tur I was yeah. just still trying to win tournaments yeah, yeah. at the time. Ain't no shame. So yeah, Nipper Man, as we said, recent Chun convertee, but not not at all lacking in a lot of the skill set you need to play her. And, and then, speaking of my former main, uh, oh, here we go, Slam yeah. Donkey, rocking my one of my my second favorite Dudley color. Great name for a Dudley player. That is a pretty. He good will name. slam you with his donkey fist. <laughs> Yeah, but good, good use of the trade, crouching medium kick early, but gets thrown back into the corner. Nice car throw. Standing oh, at that distance. So this is, many. It's so tough for Dudley here. Yeah, this is nice a bad fierce. look. It's hard oh, to get out. Could have got a jump in fierce from that parry. Chun does so well in this matchup. She controls the low portion of the screen. Like, Dudley has no answers, really, for her low forward, except parry. Nice um, CSD peak. Taking, taking a risk there with super stock. Oh, oh nice that's parry. Could have had a roundhouse in the combo, but duh. That is that airborne roundhouse. Hey, she's got two airborne round. Or she got the close one that's not airborne. But it lets but you go airborne. Yeah, it lets you go airborne. And then yeah, that one is. So yeah, tough to punish her. Dudley's only saving grace in this matchup. I was gonna say he needs to watch out walking so close. He might have gotten hit by the buff back hit of oh, that. Okay. Good combo though. Good, uses good combo. Could have squeezed out a little extra damage, but using that SA1 gets the roundhouse overhead. Dart shot for the win. Oh, oh he I, he can take it here with one combo here. Yeah, this is gonna will kill if he does it right. Yeah. Oh, oh, he missed it. Got, gets a reset, but this could hurt. All right. Yeah, staying in. Good stuff from Slam Donkey. Nipper oh, Man, though. Nipper Man with the crouching. That's not going to kill, though. The answer gets us the reset. Oh, that was tricky. Chun Li was facing the wrong direction there, yeah, too. Yeah, actually, Nipper Man almost mixed himself up on that one. Didn't get the follow up. Impressive Dudley play here from Slam Donkey here. Yeah. Couple mistakes big time from Nipper Man that round with two missed supers. Chun's in the corner, has to watch out for that low roundhouse from Dudley. That's where he can really eat well against her and goes for it. Gets the low parry, for the exactly. Parry, yeah. It is scary for Chun Li to go for that parry because if she does get caught, you take six sweeps or a lot here, yeah. of damage. You're still in that corner, too. You are paying rent there now, as I yeah. say. She is the easiest character for Dudley to do big combos on. But at the same time, oh, that's going to hit. Oh, yes, I wish she would have oh. been committed. Slam Donkey, yeah, just uh, didn't didn't believe in didn't the punish believe. enough. I, I saw it happen, and I'm like, please be buffering. Please be buffering, because that does beat it at that point. Yeah. But Nipper Man does take game one. Good stuff from Slam Donkey. I like yeah. the pressure. He's been very aggressive when Nipper Man doesn't have super stock or just is about to get super Keeping stock. Keeping it close. Yeah. Keeping it in his face. That's what you have to do in this matchup. Yeah, yeah. And you have to kind of rush her down before she builds that bar. Exactly. But easier said than done, of course. Just starts things off with a raw yeah. machine gun blow, though. That's one way to get right in her face. Like I said, all these trades, even if you catch a low medium, like those, da those don't do much damage at all. You gotta take, you gotta get them. You gotta take to some risks. Oh yeah, like right there, a nice parry on that axe kick would have changed a lot for Slam Donkey. But Nipper Man oh. right now is showing a lot of control. Yeah. Those fierce double slaps yeah, for the anti -air. Double slaps. <laughs> Two parries. And super punish or just keep it. A He's gonna save the meter. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't have to live to regret that or die to regret that. More, <laughs> more likely, but. Yeah, Slam Donkey threatening here. Doesn't want to go for the Let's Go Justin. Okay, okay. And still, yeah, Slam Overhead. Donkey staying alive. Oh, no, stays low. Stay. Oh. Oh, didn't land a time. I think he mistimed that. But this is a rough situation now. Nipper Man, match point, fully stocked. Had to, had to also be very aware of the EX spinning bird kick yep, exactly. possibility. So. Yeah, Nipper Man on the cusp. Oh, nice empty jump. Gets it. Gets in the corner. Get no. Waited too long. Ooh. Gets a duff, though. Has the damage. Yep. Nipper Man, though, threatening with that bar. Throws him back. What's going to be state? Okay. Keeps it Keeps it safe. 
Nipperman may be looking to clip one of those low roundhouses. Throws him back into the corner again. again. No, no, not quite. Grab. It wasn't quite spaced well enough yeah. for that super. It wasn't the right super to do that with. There's overhead. Nice, nice overhead. Universal overhead into super. What's it going to be here? Keeps it simple. Back fierce. One low forward from Nipperman. Or any I confirm is, is going to do it. Like I said, that's such a tough situation. Nipperman moving on. You win. Alrighty, so we will be right back with some more 3S action. But yep. We're going to take just a quick break, and Pool's action is going to resume. So, stay here. We await your return. Whoa, 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 whoa. You still here, man? You don't have to do this by yourself anymore. Yeah, we've been looking for you everywhere. They'll handle the ads. Let's go see the rest of Chicago. Y'all make sure to head over to the Combo Breaker shop right now and check out all the amazing merch, from shirts to hats and more in store. Get it today. Ready? Street Fighter 6. Fight. Street Fighter 6. Welcome to the Chipotle Challenger Series featuring Street Fighter 6. Grab a friend and play against the best for a chance to win over $30,000 in prizes. Free Chipotle for a year and a paid trip to Evo. Sign up today at ChipotleChallengerSeries.com. Red Bull gives you wings. Mortal Kombat 1 ushers in a new era of the iconic franchise with a new fighting system, new game modes, and fatalities. Discover a reborn Mortal Kombat universe created by the fire god Liu Kang, featuring reimagined versions of the iconic characters as they've never been seen before. Sign up via the QR code or at the website on the screen for a chance to join the upcoming Mortal Kombat 1 online stress test. Mortal Kombat 1 will be available on September 19th. Pre-order your copy today. Combo Breaker is brought to you in part by Hitbox Arcade. Take control with improved performance, accuracy, and speed. Grab one today. Welcome back, everybody. Combo Breaker, third strike pool action. I am Humbag, brought to me with my friend Action Hank. How are you doing once again, sir? I'm doing well, sir. Looking forward to more of this as we move through pools, looking to more intense matchups here. And I believe this is going to be a Japan versus Cambodia match. We have uh, Mao versus, was it Phenom? Yeah, okay. Phenom from up in Minnesota area, I Okay, believe. okay. Awesome. So I'm not familiar with these two players, but I do know Minnesota, definitely a long time, third strike powerhouse scene around. Uh, if you remember Baka back oh, yeah. in the day, super remember, strong young player. I, I had a uh, Ken as well. I had a really intense set with him many years ago at one of the uh, yeah. boy, one of the con one of the Chicago tournaments of the past. But yeah. we're gonna have NG Phenom going up against Mao from Japan, rocking Chun Li. And now is this the Mao, the Vega player, the Claw? I believe it's so, right? That was the, I, that was could, on his shirt. It could be. So if that's yeah, wow, we are. This is right. Super Turbo royalty right here. So yeah, let's see. This is not a good matchup for Chun. I mean, I say that in very loose terms. Yeah, it's, it's still it's an, it's an even matchup. Some people still think it's her advantage. Yeah, she has no losing matchups, but yeah, but Yun though, 
threat to always activate Ganage in and just get in there. One hit here from Keep Mao. Keep turn it. Yep. Oh, it doesn't activate. Doesn't matter, though. Gets the throw. Does the lunge punch. Doesn't get punished. There's the throw. Mao walking forward. Oh, oh wake up up kicks. Yep, it does not hit crouching very well Getting at scrambly. all. Oh, dash up lightning legs. Good yep. stuff from Mao. So clearly has has the Chun tech down. We see that. Definitely. Dash yeah. legs is a good thing to know how to do. It is basically one of the guaranteed chip specials in the game. It's so hard to parry correctly. It's obnoxious, and she can kind of just keep doing it. Yep. <laughs> that one in Necro. Nice. Confirm. Big damage. Yun, does t Yun takes a lot of life. Overhead. And the overhead. Gets the reset. Yeah, big, big. That's why I call. This is the Chun-Li oh. steamroller round. Using the, the close medium, <laughs> the close medium that never hits. Cold. Jump yep. shorter medium right there for the win. <sighs> the, class, the classic two-bar Chun-Li round where you, you just you guess at the end. and oh, It's so much. It's so quickly. Especially as twins. Yeah, especially twins. You can't twins. make mistakes. But Mal, quick game one. Phenom, I thought, actually used to play Dudley. Okay. Surprisingly enough. I, wasn't surpri I was surprised to see Yun there. Okay, okay. Could, Maybe we'll I see could, a switch. Here. I could be wrong about that. Yeah. I thought I... No? But sticking, sticking with Yun? with Yun, yep, SA3. Yeah, if, if those of you not familiar with Mao, just look look, look him up in Super Turbo. Amazing yeah. Vega player. I, you'll probably you'll probably see him in top eight of ST later. ST later. Yeah, for sure. Uh, oh, gets the wake up counter parry there. Throwing Phenom in the corner. Not a place. Phenom needs to get this meter built. Yeah, He's already down to ha Very clean, efficient Chun play right here. Yeah. Just got to whiff some more mediums going in instead, feeling the life deficit piling up. But Young's true strength lies in the ability to threaten with Ganajin, and so far Phenom hasn't activated. There Ooh, we go. Okay, crouching hit. Doesn't get doesn't the, doesn't get the get hit the confirm. Combo. Yeah. That, oh, that could have actually. You probably could kill with a combo there. Maybe, or at least get very close. Yeah. yeah. Um, Yun and Ganajin, though, you know, you can't be a slouch. You got to learn how to walk cancel things and yep. Kara cancel things. It's, it's, it's tough. It's, it's a big the, hill. It's the character I've spent more time trying to learn again. Uh huh. And it's such a struggle. He sometimes. is a lab monster's character for sure. Oh, oh 100%. But Mao's still sitting on two bars. Got two in the chamber. Ooh, no confirm there. Back throw from Phenom. There nice. It is. Back fierce after the parry. One more mix up is going to take it. This time Goes for the low. low. Oh, doesn't get the parry punish. Gets the lunge punch. Stray. Oh, uh, this is about to do it for Mao here. Yeah. Only has to hit chip and trades. And, yeah, just trades. Back fierce Mao. Very efficient. Chun Li play there. Takes it 2 0 over Phenom. Moves on in the winner's side of the bracket of this pool. Like I said, if you want to follow along on uh, start.gg as well, that was a pool. B312 action. We're looking at B311 and B312. Yeah, so if amber is the color of your energy, check out pool 311. But, <laughs> exactly. Um, you know, don't get so down, you know. <laughs> but don't get all mixed up. Yeah, it, but you <laughs> might get all mixed up and not know what to do. So I don't know. I feel like I get mixed up every time I play video games now. <laughs> I get mixed up whenever I, I listen I to 311. Is this <laughs> regular or is it crap? But <laughs> uh, all right. Coming up here, who we got? I am not familiar with these two. I am ah. familiar. Okay, I am familiar. CK Flow versus Mo or Moe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. We're we're at Combo Breaker. Could be Moe, but yeah, Flow. Familiar with that name? Believe a Dudley player, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I I, I can't remember off the top of my head. There are a couple flows in the community with yeah. di different spellings. So Very, this yeah. is there's a few. This is it would be the more French. So shout outs to Ari out there if you're, yeah. if you're watching. I'm not sure. Used to be a combo breaker regular because, yeah. you know, from from the great city of Chicago themselves. So shout outs wherever you are, maybe Flo, playing I Want to Be the Guy. <laughs> God, that's such a throwback. <laughs> that's like over 10, 12 years. I know. At this it's point. It's I, I go back crazy. and watch that, though, every now and again just for the shot in Freud of it, you know? Yep. <laughs> so, all right. Flo, CK Flo, rocking the Dudley, of yep. course, pulling up in the Bentley. Ooh, with the default Dudley color. I nice. Like it. Yeah, and Mo with the Mo Koto. Oh, still button check here. Yeah. I do love the Dudley uh, Makoto matchup. Just, it's so very. It can just be one sided or it can be really close. It's These two it characters is. just duff it out and see yeah. who wins. Very Rock'em Sock'em Robots between these two a lot of the times. You're just going to see a lot of Fierces and That's Hayates. a good way to describe it is Rock'em Sock'em Robots. <laughs> You're just swinging and hoping a head gets, a block gets knocked off somewhere. I love it, though. It's fun to watch, not fun to play, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the thing about this matchup in particular is that Makoto's got stuff against Dudley that 
there's a f maybe only a one or other two other characters that she can do it on. Yeah, her um, uh, her what's it called the up punch. Yeah, she can up punch uh, Dudley Fukiyashi. when he yeah when go. he's dizzy. You can just do it standing up close. Yeah, do Dudley's got the big broad damage. big broad shoulders. You know he don't he don't skip the gym. Right. But the other thing about is Dudley has quite possibly I think the longest stun bar in the game. It, he'd either be tie it's either be him or Oro, right? Yeah, Oro's got some pretty significant stun bar too. So Makoto d can do 100% stun on him, but it's ridiculously hard. hard. Yeah, no, for sure. But because pretty of the close. fat body, <laughs> you can do some dumb resets on him as well. Yeah. But Flo there takes it with the one, two, three, yeah, stuffing yeah. out Makoto. Probably yeah. going to be looking to poke with that low short. Oh, oh my god. Right away, that max range gets the max damage mid screen. Overhead block. Nice job for Mo. Hayati's back, spins the meter on the super here. Wants to just kind of even things out. Yeah. Still, I agree with still that. Still does choice. a good amount of damage, even though it was scaled so heavily. Oh, hard nice. read. Yeah. <laughs> Flo. There's the overhead, overhead this time. Big Look damage. At that damage. Yeah. One more mix up will do it. Flo nice goes for the block. overhead again, gets blocked. Ooh. No, the punish. Mo can't get out of no this corner. Punish. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, oh, a London flat in the corner, paying rent for that. Dudley's mm -hmm. going to be collecting bank from you. He's got the pounds. Game one flow. Yeah, Mo, though, stuff. looking, I liked what Mo was doing there near the end of that round. Just missed the punish on that machine gun blow. Flo, uh,. Really found tried to go for the chip. Found found themselves in the corner a little too early on that that second round there with that full confirm from Flo. Yeah. So let's see if that happens again. Doesn't poke with the low medium this time. Goes with standing medium kick. Didn't get the EX, but still gets the corner here. Nice block. Got to get out. There we go. Command grab. Going to get the party started. Go for another one? No, just ah, wake up. Or just I like it. Take the risk. And we're going to get some big combo here. Yeah, these are going to hurt. Finish it. Not going to kill, I don't think. Yeah, no. Nope. Scaled pretty heavily from all that, but there, still. There is a way to get that super to hit differently where you can juggle after it still more. Yeah, one more yeah. uppercut. Yeah. It's fun. You can do that with Ken in Street Fighter VI no. as well now <laughs> on, his super, on his Critical Art 3. That's Ooh, pretty cool. Oh, nice again. Gets the dash in. Misses the mid-screen damage, but that's all right. Still has him in the corner. Mo though is finding themselves Ooh. in a familiar place. The Unfortunate corner. there from Mo. This is again big, big damage. Dudley loves you in the corner. Long wake-up time. Yep. Doesn't roll, so doesn't get caught by the Oki. Rolls there though. Flo working on a perfect. And is gonna get there it. it is. Impressive from Flo. That was some solid, dirty Dudley play right there. Yeah. Just kept the corner control the whole time. Kept the corner control. Flo got popping the damage. Off. Like Posing. I said, one combo from Dudley basically sends you to the you know mid you know sends you to the corner. Yeah, one ex machine gun blow is yeah. all you need to get the party started for him. And so like like I was saying earlier, like both of these characters have stuff that they can only do versus each other. Mm -hmm. Like uh, Dudley stand against the standing Makoto can just do roundhouse ducking upper and it all combos. Oh wow! It usually only hits on crouching. Does he get the um, the mid screen like machine gun blow juggle uppercut stuff against her or like after a roundhouse like walk up medium? I think so. For yeah. kidney blow uppercut. She, she's yeah, got, sure she's got does. a big fat body that it's it's easy <laughs> enough. As I said, it's she she looks tiny, but like she's one of the widest characters. Yeah, she well it's that stance. You know, yeah. she's, she's got that wide stance. Uh, but I see Nipper Man. Back up on stream here. Yep. Nipper Man back up so here and winners. Making our way. This is going to be against C. Chavez. So, not familiar with who they play, but we will find out. Nipper Man, of course, going to be rocking the chun. Nice. Yeah, Nipper Man top eight at Frosty Faustings. I want to say third, actually, at Frosty Faustings. Got I far. I think so. Made it pretty that far. That sounds right. So, and that's no, that's no easy feat. Um... No, I said, Even though Chun's Frosties got the easy was, feet. Yeah, Frosty's <laughs> was pretty stacked for uh, Midwest talent this year. Yeah, no, it's great. I've been coming to these Chicago tournaments, you know, for a decade plus now, and it's this has only been a growing scene every time I come. I'm mm -hmm. always seeing new faces, more people traveling out. It's great. All right, so Chavez going with the Yang. I'm a fan of this Yang color myself. Oh, yeah, got that red hair. Oh, yeah, Tr Troa Barden for the win. Pressuring pretty well here. Yang does pretty decent again. You know, it's a twin against Chun Li, so has the dive kick pressure in their pocket. Yep, has the dive kick. Has a pretty long, uh, reaching, crouching medium kick that can cancel into the EX mana slashes. And th the real hard stuff we were seeing at uh, some at um, Cooperation Cup is the corner mantis slash juggles, which yep. are those are tricky. Yep. Yang can do some uh, pretty nifty stuff on characters that can juggle easily, like Chun, Q, etc. Yeah. 
so far, both players just kind of poking it out here. Oh, no, confirm. Didn't get the super jump cancel. Shadows I think he was buffering it, too. Oh, nice. Yeah, EX, uh, EX wake up spinning bird kick is really oh, not a great reversal. Throw, this is gonna kill. Yeah. yeah, you can stuff that. You can stuff wake up EX spinning bird kick pretty easily in this game. Yeah. Yeah, Yang wants to look for more of those close medium kicks against her. We can put her in some reset scenarios. It's pretty disadvantageous for her, but. Yep. Um, nice fierce, yeah. Basically, you know, like I said, Yang basically has Chun Li stand fierce as well. Yeah. Like, it's just not quite Doesn't as good. Doesn't lead into anything, yeah. though. That's the only crummy part, but. Oh, Nipper Man has just Chavez in this corner. He's just assaulting oh, with pokes threw him and out of the EX. That's rough, yeah. Oh, it gets the axe kick for the win. Yeah. Nipper Man, that round very much more convincing for him. Said ra rarely used special, but every once in a while it can kind of sneak it in for a hit like that. Yep. Does man. actually a little bit of chip, too. This man's already got his order in his head completed. Oh, yeah. Nipper Man looking strong there. <laughs> See Chavez. Fighting back here, going into round two, looking to maybe take a game, hopefully. Yeah. Fighting for winner's pool, winner's bracket in the pools here. Ooh, par parries that just jab check from Chavez there. Yeah, I want to see more crouching shorts into uh, EX mana slashes yeah. once Chavez gets the meter. Got to be mindful to rush Chun Li down right now. She doesn't oh. have that bar, but. There we go. Nice medium into that Mana Slashes there. That's the best meterless combo he has. And generally he wants to end on Light Punch Mana Slash yep. there, so he gets the Dash Oki follow-up. But I think Chavez didn't there. Oh, oh that might kill. This actually. will kill. Yeah. 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 That's so much damage on the crouching. crouching. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's 1.5, right? About. Uh, or even I more. can't remember the modifier, yeah. but it's it's quite it's, it's actually pretty high. Yeah, you don't want to find yourself crouching in this because game. Because it's and getting not hit. just one hit; it's the entire combo. Right. Yeah. Right. It, it, Adds that modifier to the entirety of the combo. Ooh, EX Mana Slash is, oh, drops the last yeah, one, doesn't though. doesn't finish it. Stays in front, but no meter once again. It's been a meter deficit here for Chavez for pretty much every round right now. Yeah, Nipper Man been checking those crouching jab attempts by Yang. Oh, doesn't get the follow-up. It's yeah. a backdash. Yeah, didn't mm -hmm. have the meter. That's maybe an execution error. Yeah, didn't have the EX meters, though. True. I said, he's just been, as soon as he's had meter, EX Mana Slash has come out every time, and it's been and stuffed they've been again. stuffed, yeah. Ooh, standing medium punch. You don't see that as often. Chavez still has a chance. Goes for the frame trap. Can't meters eat a throw yeah, or anything meters here. About to be built up. Goes for the grab, doesn't get it. Just yeah. gra gets grabbed back. And Nipper Man takes it to He's oh, going to be moving Chavez. on to the winner's semifinals of his pool. So he is one away from that sweet, sweet burrito victory. Mm. Mm. I could use one of those. Oh, hey, I know this player coming up. We got a Makoto player, Zion, here, just sitting down with the pink. Uh, I believe that's an Agratsuko stick, if I'm not mistaken. I think so. Um, oh, one of our local uh, TOs, actually, for uh, the Columbus scene. He works at a uh, eSports arena place oh, and nice. runs tournaments out of there. So shout-outs to their crew. So we're going to have Zion versus, I think, Mr. Snoozy, if my bracket is correct. Yes. Zion, I believe a Makoto player. Might, might have been changing up. I know he's been kind of like... He dabbles in a bunch of different fighting games. Okay, so. I, ha I had to, I was I, I was gonna say it before I said it. When I saw the name Mr. Snoozy, I'm like, he better play Chun, <laughs> and he better be the lamest, lamest Chun, Chun ever. Yeah, Just no. back fierce and fierce all day. He's already living up to the name. I love it. Let's go. Gets the command grab started. Makoto needs to get in there before Chun gets this meter going. Got to get that party started. Oh nope. Using that ridiculous two frame crouching light punch just to kind of another good command get grab. Some, get some space. Oh, just goes for the hard Hayate read. Yeah, but he, he, caught, he tried to catch him jumping, I think. Oh, gets the whiff punish on that crouching uh, fierce punch. It's unfortunate. But now, Chun Li, no meter. No meter, but good life lead here. Can just keep him out, try to preempt the dashes in. But oh, SA1 is stocked here. What's the read here? Oh, oh you wake up, EX yeah. Spinning Bird. You know, that the is classic. the one thing that will not stuff. <laughs> the that. classic. Five, yeah. Three. Yeah, good stuff to Mr. Snoozy. Just not having any of that. <laughs> and I agree. Use that bar. Ooh, gets knocked down. Zion Ooh, has a chance. Really meaty, but nice way to get out of the command. Group. Yeah, good jump away. You gotta, I mean, Makoto, Ooh. you gotta make a couple right guesses here. So far, Zion hasn't had Got those. Doesn't crouch. get the jump follow no. up. But look at the life lead already here. This is going to be tough for Zion, but he's got the SA1 stock. Oh, Needs a read here oh, and a Fierce again. Just smacks standing fierce, smacking right her. into it. Mr. Snoozy showing him that he's just kind of laying back, keeping it calm, <laughs> snoozing, hitting that Fierce alarm I didn't alarm know Bedman was in this game, but apparently... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no. you know, just that's how, that's the Chun matchup. You got to do it. 
until they give you a reason I, not to press a button, keep pressing those buttons. I They're say, all good. I mean, it reaches half screen and does a good amount it's of damage. It's pretty much a fireball. It, it is. I mean, yeah. A disjointed, you know. I can see why Mao would play this character as well. She's a poking fiend, and, he, you know, he plays Vega. Yeah. Oh, just poking away. Zion yeah. can't. There He's it goes. Been, Zion's been sticking to the ground, and it just hasn't been working out as well. Yeah, is he going to need to find a yeah, hard read. There it is again. Uh. Is he going to get the follow-up? Fierce, fierce, not enough. Needs a read on the jump aways from Mr. Snoozy and hasn't gotten one yet. Good stuff. Mr. Snoozy now on match point here. Now. Yeah. Been using just those big buttons, and Zion's just unfortunately been running into too many of them, but he's got the corner early, but gets out. I like that uh, anti air light kick. There we go. Yeah, it gets a Hayate. This is going to hurt. Maybe he wants to spend EX here. Didn't he? Okay. Soup wanted a super there, didn't get it. Yeah. I think he tried to input. It just was a little, probably a little early. Oh. Kind of hesitates on the wake up there. Getting these grabs, though. I mean, slowly but surely leaking damage, but not threatening oh, after the Oki. Yeah, didn't go for anything. Mr. Snoozy calling that out, saying, if you're not going to do something, there I'm going to do something. I like this play. He's been using a lot more jump tick grabs here. Good. Oh, tries to catch a stray. Oh, All right, damn. this isn't so bad, No, it's though. not too bad. Does get the meter commitment from Mr. Snoozy for round two. Nice tech on that. Oh, doesn't confirm that low. Oh, there it goes. There Jumps go. over the fireball. I, I want to see Zion take to the air a little bit more here. I haven't seen oh, Mr. Wow. Snoozy show too well uh, as well as an anti-air as he has been doing on the ground. Yeah. Yeah, I like I like this change, and Zion. I, jumping I, a little bit I feel like Zion's noticed that. Yeah. Jumping a little bit more, and that's good. Gets the overhead. Might have gone into super there. Knockdowns again. Has to use this Oki to their... Oh, there we go. Doesn't get the confirm. It's okay. Hey, I want one more, though. Does it? This should do this it. Should he should go it. right into it. No. no! Drops the execution again. Zion. Oh, uh, Elbut has a prayer here. Can punish this. There we go. This will take it. EX Hayate should do it. Why? No. Dropped it Drops again. It again. Nerves, maybe. <laughs> there Doesn't it matter, is. though. But Mr. Snoozy showing a little bit of nerves, too. <laughs> very good adjustment from Zion here really has realized that I can't compete on the ground right now. Was running into so many fierces that he was losing half of his life before he even yeah. had anything going. And just started committing way more to jumps and jump parry options. And Now it's up to uh, Mr. Snoozy here to Answer either back. start anti-airing a little bit better, try to just, just if, if Zion ain't going to try to parry while jumping in, just keep throwing the back fierce yep. out. Keep the or, back or standing jab, Or too. standing jab. Decent button. Close, close, close I mean, <laughs> you're about to cycle through all of her buttons oh, here yeah. if you really just oh, get into it. There's too many. <laughs> just about. We are tied up at 1-1. Mr. Snoozy going against Zion in the winner's pools of our uh, first block of Thirst Strike today. Yeah, moving along here, though, are these pools. Oh, again, jumps out of that yeah. command grab attack. Starting, yeah, I think he might have made an adjustment to that because Zion was going for a lot of ticks, Ooh, but this, this time, big. yeah. Hasn't actually been really he's Are been we going to get the Hayate follow-up? There we go. Okay, Zion keeps it simple with the Hayate follow-up, but needed that. Got to get your damage in where you can against her. Oh, fierce oh. punches are just adding up. I like that jump short from Mr. Snoozy. Now now <laughs> competing back with Makoto's jumps and, those, and answering them quickly. Those buttons are getting Mr. Snoozy. Oh, yeah, oh okay. The chance. There's a chance here. Always. Okay. There we the go. Gets the, gets the confirm. Still has to land another couple hits here. One one command grab will do it. Can he get the fear? Is it going to build enough to EX? Doesn't get the EX. Oh, and train, the train. And it doesn't get it. The two frame crouching light punch will beat it every time. Yeah, you hate to see it, don't yeah, you? I hate to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Stoozy on match such point. Such a though. really good attempt at a comeback from Zion there. Like, kept it. Pretty well intact until they, you know, that last little trade didn't go his way. And I know oh. he he wanted that ex bar built so, so much. Bad. Yeah, that was a good crouching medium kick reset from Zion. Trying not to run into any pokes. Mr. Snoozy doesn't have meters, so it's time to go for Zion here. Has him in the corner. No punish. Oh, Zion jumping themselves yep. into the corner. Has the meter stocked up. Yeah, threatening here. He has been going to it. Yes, I this said I picked confirm. up. He hasn't been confirming it yeah. as well. He's been kind of just raw canceling it. No, but Zion doesn't get the confirm either. SpaghettiOs still, here. But still has the meter stocked up. Oh, no, gets thrown right back to the corner. Nice, nice yeah, this, from Mr. Snoozy. This yeah, is tough I, I agree with this for, from Snoozy. Is you want to keep her pretty suffocated. You want to stay right in her face. She, she doesn't have SA2 to worry about. You. Yeah. Wake up command grab for her is not very good, like for ch against Chun's buttons. Exactly. She will stuff it. Oh, one more crouching medium Gets kick now. Up. But here we go. Zion, Zion has a chance. Oh, drops, drops it again. And that, do it. Yeah. Oh, nope. 
Okay. Yes, this just kill. Yeah, there we go. Keep it simple. That's <laughs> going to do a lot more damage than the command throw. So. Punching her straight in the tights. <laughs> but we're going into round three here with nobody has any meter. So Yeah, this is a clean slate for both players here. Let's see what they do with it. Well, Mr. Snoozy already got the back fierce and jumped out of the corner. Yeah, Zion is getting a little bit of mileage out of those crouching medium punch, I must say. Ah, the EX wake up, spinning bird kick. Oh, that's going to be frustrating for Zion, but pretty I even for the most part. Haven't seen an overhead mix up yet from Zion on some no. of these. Could use one. Gets a command grab to set things up, though. Has this the meter, a, could spin it. This, this is hurt. a really good situation, oh, but he confirm. It's just, uh, oh no, misses that super that would have killed. So close. One more mix up, though. Mr. Snoozy feeling the pressure oh, here. Oh, no, taking a risk. No, this can kill. Or uh, not quite. Chun Li's super will be very close to yeah. death, though. Oh Can't no! He burned the meter. Yeah, that's okay though. Those Hayatis actually do a decent amount of chip if you're not looking for them. Yeah, but could easily ran into a normal though. Oh, the he's super. getting hit oh, by these goodness. normals. Oh, oh that's just right. Oh and then my we got, goodness! We got the handshake. Zion, <laughs> moving Zion to the winners. Or is he? Was he in winners? I'm sorry, I didn't see if this was a winners or a losers match. But it, might, it was a winners. Match, okay, yeah. so Zion staying alive in winners. I have to uh, shout outs to my Ohio. Ohio well, brethren. Well, I have to go on to play Big Red, though. After ah, this, so. okay. So Tough draw. But yeah. I mean, hey, in these tournaments, you're going to fight somebody good you definitely eventually. Are. And is this uh, is this hologram Mike Ross coming up to the setup? Or no, no, that's not. Sorry. I apologize, Quentin. You're not wearing that shirt today. I know you're not. <laughs> I saw just a little bit of the braids, and I thought yeah, it was in yeah, enough. But oh, that's OG Yon. Oh, okay. Okay. I know who that is. So we're going to have OG Yon versus Dionisio. All righty. Do you know who Yon plays? Ah, boy, I familiar? Thought it's been a while. I, okay. thought, I thought he's played a handful of characters. Throughout the years, yeah. That's a couple of us in the 3S scene. There's a lot of fun characters in this game. They really are, yeah. I, that's why I said, like, I, Dudley's still probably my best character in this game, even today, just from the years of knowledge. Right. But he might not but be your most, the one you're finding I, the most fun to play I at the have moment, right? I have most fun playing Yun just because of the challenge. I've been playing Yang yeah. Uh, yeah, after yeah. playing Yurian for such a long time. The, but The challenge of it. And I just enjoy, yeah, the, the depth of the new character, you know, challenge. It's a lot of fun. I always liked playing Yurian as well, but, boy, that is the knowledge wow. chat character. These right pools there. have been full of Makotos today, so yeah, we've got yet another Makoto matchup. Makoto's up. been quite popular the last few years. OG Yan rocking the Makoto. Oh, went for the double-double there. Oh, I like it. Try to go for that big stun early. Yeah. Ken can fight her well at range and definitely in the corner. Not a great place for her to be. And nice aggressive play here from Dionisio. Yeah, I like this. Ooh, I love the delay short short after the first short. That's a it's nice playing strategy. range here. Yep. Keeping that like three quarter screen range so she can't just sneak in a command grab. Throws again. Ooh, I like this. Dionisio's playing smart too. Knows that range where SA2 is lethal. Yeah, yeah, it's staying away from that timer range, not giving her that section of real estate on the screen that she wants to set up Super R2. Good, and smart play yeah, here. Dionisio just, you know. I, I just, I love that back off. Like, he started yeah. pressuring and then immediately saw where he was and was like, no, I don't need to press forward anymore. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I agree with that. Yeah, very strong. Good I, awareness. I like that. Oh, uh, this can set up the Super R2 here and does. Gets the cancel. Do we have the full kill combo here? No, drops the th third part of that. EXDP for Yon's troubles. No axe kick for you. Close to stun, though. Once again, busting that light DP out. Yeah, that's a pretty hard commitment, but it's been working out for Dionysio so far. Oh, nice, there overhead. it is. The chunk of damage. Crouch short, EX overhead. OG oh, Yon great. ties it up here. Gets the cross at medium oh, kicks. Like Hayate tip. setup. Yeah, caught that low hitbox from Ken there. Dionisio, this could potentially be stunned. Okay, gets a step kick. That was that was a mistake on the Kara, but yeah. it honestly worked out for Yon. I was this actually is surprised that. Oh, that's yeah. the follow up that was going to stun. Oh no. Oh, this should get be the punish enough. here. Yep. Yeah, this. Sh oh, oh it goes for the command grab no. punish. Dionisio. Oh, but this. No, not quite. Nice Dionisio, good yeah. blocking. Backing off on defense. 
Oh, oh doesn't get, get the doesn't get the super uh, and gets the cross up again. OG Yon's been getting those deep cross ups. Yeah, those jump medium kicks. Can, every time Ken goes for those low pokes, if she reads them right, yep. he's leaving himself wide open on the other side there. So good stuff to OG Yon bringing that back. Dionysio was showing a lot of you know strong defense and good reads, good DPS. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, Yon just threatening with that stun. Makoto, just such a difficult character to play, especially in tournaments. So nerve-wracking because oh, yeah. simple mistakes can just kill you against her. That and every single Makoto plays her in some unique way. Yeah, where they usually got everyone has their different ticks of that how they use how they her. Do, yeah, know? I agree. Yeah, she very much is a and trying to get a read on somebody that you don't know in a two out of three. That's so uh, hard. It's rough. Yeah, very much a, a character expressions character for sure, or a player expression character. Somebody you can really just kind of put your own spin on. Dionisio once again getting the early pressure, backing away now that he notices that Makoto has the, the meter now stocked at a range where command grab will not do any damage. He needs to get out. Oh, no, this is throw. where that cross up tick throw is so dangerous. Oh, misses the Hayate again. These Makoto players today having a little nerves maybe on these Hayate yeah. follow ups. Got a double tap. Got a double tap those. Yep, did not get the follow up. Oh, this is. Okay, never mind. Ooh, could have had a. Yeah, possible super punish there. Doesn't have it, but Dionisio and looking okay. Yep. Closes it out, probably OG Yon trying to jump, maybe even go for the Okie doke uh, super there. <laughs> I mean, she's in the corner, it could happen. Yep. Headbutt. Oh, Ooh, slow chop. Slow overhead. Slow overhead. People trying to parry it way too early, every single time. Gets the stun, this can kill. Oh, no, this is the follow up just do, uh, Just do super. Oh, no. Yeah, isn't looking for. He's got such a life lead now, he's just trying to hopefully take this round and have all yeah, that meter, and there it is, yeah. A little bit of a desperation DP for Yeah, Dionysia kind of let him take that round, which, you know, always find I mean, it out. You never what, know. What more can you do? Oh, She's fully stocked on exactly. bar, so it's like, what, you know, what are you giving up oh, here? No punish on the whip, Karakusa. Oh, it misses the target combo, but then I think Yon tried to retaliate to the, yeah. to the whiff and didn't get it. That worked out, Dionysio's oh. favorite doesn't get the link. The OG overhead. Yon threatening that super again, but yeah, OG Yon is really deliberate and trying to get into position. It doesn't get the punish. You could just SA3 that every time. There he is going for it. Yeah, he's yeah. been really trying to go That's, for that a lot now. It's almost yeah, it's a little obvious. Yeah, Dionysio, I think, smelling that one that time. Um, on chip, potentially, is Yon. Like one mistake, but one mistake. There okay. it is. Okay. Defends it out with that low short. Said OG Yon was just. Overly desperate to try to get into that range to be able to land the super from Karakusa. And Ken, when he's playing defensive like that, is a really hard character to, to rush at doing no, anything. No, yeah. Like, you, you have to be a lot more deliberate because it's just a wall, and each of them confirms an SA3. Yeah. Everything, SA3 can punish everything in the game for right. the most part. He's so threatening once he has bar. Backdashes yeah, that command nice. grab. Almost got the parry there on the retaliation. Got a knockdown. Uh oh. Gets right out, but <laughs> we're just trading corners here. Yep. Oh, uh, could got a bigger punish, but that's okay. Can say I did. Knock down. Got going for that cross up again. Oh, Chop that worked punish. out in his favor. Goes into the corner, Danny UCO. I have a life deficit here. Gets the throw again. Back dashes away. Is there a tick throw coming? Axe nope. Kicks. Dash is yeah. in. No tick from him, but that's okay. Standing medium punch to take the jump out. Gets the follow-up duff. Always the funnest part about playing third strike, really, yeah. if we're oh, being I, honest I, here. I, I miss that. <laughs> oh, that x Oh, yeah. Oh, he did a grip. Ken, yeah, Ken's bleeding here already. Good standing jab. Oh, but misses the hit confirm. And this is going to, yeah. Oh, no. Does what? the wrong version. Oh, uh, wrong strength. But close, doesn't get the punish because he, he didn't punish. do the target combo. He just did standing medium punch. Unfortunate for Dionysio, had a pretty, you know, soft, slow pitch there from Makoto, but didn't get it. Got the meter low forward, but doesn't have it stocked up Trains anymore. Trains the DP, could have dashed DP there, actually, I, I think. I think so, yeah. She, she, Makoto's, Makoto is pretty floaty. Makoti is pretty floaty. Full meter from OG on here, last game of this match here. Here we go. Tied up. DP, DP, DP oh. doesn't get the other one, though. Yeah, weird. that, that yeah. was kind of weird. Maybe didn't do medium. Okay. 
finding themselves actually not the worst spot to be when Makoto has meters. No, in the you corner. actually don't. It's not as it's not nearly as dangerous. Now it's now dangerous. It's dangerous. Yeah, and he recognized that <laughs> immediately. Got out. Yeah, a lot of Kin players. First thing they want to do is jump out of the corner. They they do not want to be there. Smart pressure there. Dionisio gets in the corner, but that's okay right now. DP, DP, DP double, gets the double DP that time. with this back to the corner. And there short, it short, is. And the EX. Dionisio. Clutching it out there. That was a good, yeah. strong round, too. But, yeah, you can tell for Yawn, feeling a little. Alrighty, so we will be right back, folks. Stay here with us. Shout-outs yep. to our sponsors. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. You thought that was fire? We're not done yet. Because after this break, more Combo Breaker action is coming right to you. Don't go nowhere. Don't forget to head on over to the Combo Breaker shop to check out all the amazing merch. But don't delay, because that merch is going to go quick. Welcome to the Chipotle Challenger Series featuring Street Fighter VI. Grab a friend and play against the best for a chance to win over $30,000 in prizes, free Chipotle for a year, and a pay trip to Evo. Sign up today at ChipotleChallengerSeries.com. Tenno's got you covered with sick, officially licensed Tekken merchandise. It's available now at Tenno.gg slash merch. Rushdown Revolt is the hot new platform fighter coming out May 26th. They also announced a Smash Royale mode this week. It's a 1v1 bracket battle royale for six players to rotate through non-stop action and become the last one standing. Mortal Kombat 1 ushers in a new era of the iconic franchise with a new fighting system, game modes, and fatalities. Discover a reborn Mortal Kombat universe created by the fire god Liu Kang, featuring reimagined versions of iconic characters as they've never been seen before. Sign up via the QR code or at the website on the screen for a chance to join the upcoming Mortal Kombat 1 online stress test.
Welcome back, everybody, to Third Strike Pools here at Combo Breaker 2023. We are com coming into the tail end of Pool 311 here. It's going to be Nipperman versus Mikey 631. Nipperman's been climbing the bracket here with his, his devastating Chun play. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so far looking pretty convincing that he's going to make his way out and enjoy a tasty, tasty Chipotle burrito. Oh, yeah, so. got to secure the <laughs> meal. Got to make the deal first to secure right, the meal. Exactly, and he has made a deal with the devil by playing Chun Li here, of course. So hey, all, <laughs> all is fair in love and war, yep. as they say. But we're gonna have Nipperman coming up here against Mikey six three one, another Chun versus Ken, Ken. matchup Classic. in the subway. Yeah, you know, I believe I might have played Mikey at East Coast Throwdown. I, I might have. So the name the name, the name is familiar to me. To me. Yep. Yeah. So. Was doing really well on Ken uh, as well when we watched his last matches, but mm -hmm. yeah, Nipperman so far was looking like a favorite coming in, but Mikey is uh, poking out, rushing down. Yeah. yeah. That's what you got to do in this matchup sometimes before she gets the stock meter. You got to get aggressive versus her. Yeah, and now Nipperman in territory here, but still pretty decent for Mikey. Yep. Both characters with very good low forwards can uh, confirm from basically any range. Seeing there that close standing roundhouse, yeah, can jump, super jump cancel and get right out of harm's way if it doesn't go her way. Such a good button. Kara grabs with it too, as well. That fierce fireball. Tried to, I think, go for a parry Ooh. there from Mikey. Would have gotten a punish if he yeah. did. Mikey wisely ES Tatsu's out of the corner, but now Nipperman sitting on two bars. One, Ooh, one will take whiff. it. Ooh, there it is. Ah, yeah. yep. Missed, was a little tardy on uh, whiff punishing that crouching medium punch. Yep. Nipperman round one here, both stocked with some meter here going into it. Mikey yeah. with the super jump early, trying Def to get that deep cross up. Definitely a little harder for Ken to be the one to win out Ooh. on the footsies war with yeah. her, but. Nipperman's been Ooh. missing the super jump cancel oh. earlier, but still, you, that button's still so good. Oh, misses the target combo. Super would have done a grip of damage and instead. And yeah, gets, gets the crouching hit. Barry gets the crouching hit. Yeah, Ooh, walk up lightning legs Just from Nipperman. Free little chip damage, free damage in general right there. Ooh, oh, that, oh, oh, boy, that looked like it was going to hit. Was going to go into over her uh, super too if it did. Um, Text the throw. Mikey just kind of jumping in, trying to get something going here versus Nipperman, who's been putting up a wall. Crouching medium punch. It's so hard. you got to really be in Chun's head. All right, yeah, gets the throw start. Dash throw, short, short. Yeah, just gets thrown back. And unfortunately, uh, but not enough. There it is. And that's going to do it. No yeah. parry. Oh, and we, no Pretty moment there. tough, yeah, you know. Yeah, that would have been a red parry at that point. Yeah. Incredibly difficult to do, especially against that super. Oh yeah, but just kind of just try it. You know, I think he obviously probably tried to at that point, but yeah. And yeah, shout outs to as you see in Nipperman's tag, Logan Arcade, one of the mainstays of Third Strike here in Chicago. Big big venue here for the scene. Yep. So if you're in the area and you want to check out a place to play 3s, there you go. Mikey right away with the aggressive throwing play, use of that roundhouse. No meter stock, so like I said, you just eat a low forward from Chun. It doesn't hurt that much, but oh, now oh, it oh. hurts. Yeah, it wasn't crouching at least, but yeah. Oh, it was Back crouching there, first, though. Yeah. Oh, oh, man, one more button up. takes yeah. it, yeah. Maybe just going to look for, like, a lightning legs. Mikey just content to jump, oh, though. Has steal a this round here, uh, but nice parry from Nipperman. Yeah, kind of telegraphs that low a little bit there with the overhead. O often that's the case, as people like to default to low after overhead. Super jump throw, that roundhouse again. So oh, there good. It is. Back fierce, got the crouching, half life or more. Oh, <laughs> oh, and Mikey's got to watch it here. Close to stun. One more hit, he'll take it. Nipperman and that's it. is on his way. Nipperman with a dominant 2 -0. It looks like, yeah, we're doing two out of three. So Nipperman qualifies top 48. Getting out of pools, he's going to enjoy himself a meal. Yep. Now and, he's, he's Mikey, got a, and he's got a long wait until Sunday now. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, yeah we're finishing up on Sunday for this game. So, yeah, you know. Or actually, I could be. I think I'm wrong on that. I'm sorry. Round two Are is we doing, tomorrow. Yeah, we do have some pools tomorrow. Yeah, so there's round two tomorrow and then top 24 there's a block of top 24 to top 8 and then top 8. Oh, okay. Yeah, because we are going into top 48 here yep. as Nipperman gets out onto top 48 winner's side. Uh, Mikey is going to get out of pools, though, onto top 48 loser's side. Yep. So I think we're still doing the three-out system, right? Yeah. Yes, we are. Yeah, so Mikey also gets to enjoy a nice burrito. Mm. But, mm. yeah, and I'm seeing on the other side of the bracket <laughs> we got Hokuto versus Flo. Not, maybe not the match that's coming up, but I do know uh, Hokuto. Oh, it is. Yeah, we're going to see Hokuto versus Flo. Uh, Hokuto is a, uh, believe, um, SoCal, or at least... Two, uh, four people make it out of pools. Uh, Mexico, okay. I, I Hokuto know, is Mexico. Four, four people make it out of pools. Four, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Two in losers, two in winners. Yep. yep. 
I said yeah. some some tournaments have like a lot of tournaments have switched to the three out system where basically you play winners finals, but the person you don't play a losers finals of right. the pool. Yeah, yeah. And it also it's supposed you to just go to the losers side yeah. at, when you're out. So both of these systems is supposed to design a little bit less double jeopardy. Yes. Oh, it does. Yeah, yeah it definitely does. It still happens eventually at any point. Oh. Yeah. Any. Any you're tournament. Gonna, yeah, any you tournament. can't complain about Double Jeopardy no. and Grand Finals. Yes, you know, sir. it's going to happen somewhere. Um, but good stuff so far to everybody that's played. Seen some strong. These, these are two strong players for sure. We saw Flo on that Dudley earlier, uh -huh. getting some real strong confirms. Um, but Hokuto representing Mexico here. Yeah. Strong, I believe a Ken player. Uh, I see them online quite a bit. Um, and they win uh, quite a bit of events and online tournaments, so yep. uh, definitely uh, the Mexico scene on Fightcade out there, Defin like super yeah. strong. They've, they've got some really strong players for sure. Um, yeah, and I believe Hakoto also like kind of a, you know, a lot of us retro players now are kind of an every gamer in that in that kind of <laughs> wheelhouse of years of games, right? <laughs> yeah, like yeah, we all play exactly. like Third Strike and Alpha Two and Vampire. Marvel, some semblance hey, of some, you know, all those games. If if you have a history of playing on, you know, you know, GGPO rollback netcode, you probably started with Alpha Two. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> as uh, it Alpha was two the original. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. the original GGPO game that we had. Yeah, it's yeah. Just Alpha Two only, and then they added ninety eight Vampire Savior. Oh, uh, and now it's. I mean, get your whole fix on oh, Fightcade. Now on Fightcade, you know, you just you type in a game, and you know, if you if you have. Oh, the, you're uh, in that the third strike room. Oh, yeah. And you're you're uh, online showing your inbox is gonna get oh, blown definitely. up. Oh, <laughs> definitely. So, but Flo coming up again here against oh Jay Wong is his sponsor. Sponsor, yes, nice. Justin Wong sponsoring the player. Nice. Shout outs to Jay Shout Wong. Shout outs to Justin. Been quite a few years since I've ran into him. Miss well, Justin. You know, he's on the west coast of Canada now, so it's oh, a little yeah. harder to see him. But he's one of those Canadians out there. <laughs> he's a Canadian. Yep. Canadian, I like that. <laughs> Gets that sweep, doesn't get the follow up from it. Another fun matchup as a Dudley player. I always did like playing against Ken. It's yeah, it feels kind of it feels it, even ish. It's Actually, even, it's, it's pretty fun. I hear from Ken players that this matchup scares them to death. Like oh, yeah. they, they yeah. are they can win, Dudley, but they Dudley don't is a feel very good scary about it. In this game. <laughs> Dudley is a very scary character. Oh yeah. Hokuto has the corner and is like staying at that range, that jump range, so Flo can't get out. Good Ooh, ducking confirmed yeah. though from Flo. Using that standing medium. Dart shot does get stood block or never mind stood hit, but doesn't go into anything. Yep. Throw. Are we gonna see a wake up DP? No. Okay. Yep. All right. Uses the X fireball to be safe. Really, nothing Dudley could do there. Yeah, th this matchup does really suck for Dudley once he's in the corner. Ken is just a bully to a lot of characters. He can oh, just yeah. stand at that perfect range and hit those standing medium punches and crouching medium kicks. Gets the confirm. Nice from Flo. Kiss from a rose. Needs to seal the deal here. Nope. There the we jump go. Jump throw. Yep. Throw again. Yeah, this is this is where it can be kind of tough for Dudley sometimes. Oh, yeah, short, 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 super. short. With a slow confirm, yeah. I like it. I like it. Puto looking strong here. Wake up throw from Flo. Might have been doing a parry option select as well. Once again, Okuto. Oh. Yes, the overhead link. There yes, yeah. there it is. Strong play from Okuto. Yeah. I like it. A very, very strong player. I, I, know, I know of their presence. And, yeah. So, looking, breathing down the neck here of getting out in winners top 48. Flow though, I like I like what I was seeing there. It just looked like Hokuto was just pressuring him, getting those throws early, building up the damage. See what he responds with here. Yeah, Ken doesn't have to do much to build that super meter either, and immediately start being much more of a threat. Spray on the jump in once again. Tech throws, gets the pressure. <laughs> We're duffing out here. Hokuto looks like he's quite familiar with this matchup. Oh, oh. <laughs> I wonder if he could have gotten a juggle from that. Doesn't matter I though. I think he could have. <laughs> gets the follow. -up. Hokuto just going to DP, DP right yeah. back. Using that invincible DP. Oh, DP again. Right back at your face. Oh. And uses that one, two. Dudley with a really strong low target combo in this game. Just as yeah, a little tool that he can throw out. So good. I mean, meterless. It's such good damage for what it is. Yeah, starting from a light like that, yeah. Whiffs a throw. Gets a one, two, three, as we said, yeah. Just gets a little quick hit confirmed. Short, Ken. short again, Hokuto. Consistent with those so far. Doesn't have any bar to threaten, but has the corner. Gets the pressure going, tick throws. Nice Back short swing, swing blow. blow. Yeah, I like that there. Gets the o gets the rose, but doesn't get any follow-up. No! Mm, okay. Yeah. yeah. 
Nice. nice. Yeah, using the target combo, Duck Super. He's going to get a setup that. here with the hard knockdown. Nice yes. use of again. that once again. One, two. Flo answering right back to Pokedo. Yep. Situation where it's it's kind of tough when you when you have to block the rows. I mean, it's it's a 50-50 setup. Uh, if, if they if you try to parry it, they can throw you because you can't you can throw parries. And then, yeah, you always got the threat of overhead, which overhead it, if you get hit by that, it does so much I, damage. I don't care who you are. Everything Dudley does, his 50-50 is 100% unreactable. That is not it's, reactable. It, it is, yeah, if done well, it pretty much is. It's yeah. so hard. It's just... You can't sure blink. it's like a 14 frame overhead or it's even very or fast. 12 frame. It's very fast. Yeah. And he can uh, confirm it into a chain combo as well to exactly. uh, you know, avoid the punishment. So Oh, Ooh. wake up uppercut this time. Hokuto yep. not falling. Wake up uppercut Once again. again, these EXDPs these have been working. paying off. Yeah. I like it actually. Like Flo just gets the juggle! Not no, gonna on the super though. One, two, three, <laughs> one, two, three, again. Again. That's like the third time that's taken it for Flo on these rounds here. Flo has really adjusted really well here. Huto now on down on match point here. Flo could win this and move on. Yeah, just not hooking to the first couple rounds was having their way, but now on the back foot. This time as Dudley in the corner. Okay, Flo jumps out. Spending some bar, just building a little space. Hokuto. In the corner, dart shot, overhead. Yep, yeah, gets the link. Gets the rose out. Not, I was going to say, he's looking Ooh, at the EX Tots. That was a good punish from Flo. And there's the buffer. One more mix-up does it for Flo here. A little late on And there that. it is. Oh, misses the confirm, but so does Hokuto. A little bit of spaghetti. Yeah. A little scary. And that's going to chip in. Unless no, he gets no parry. Red parry. Oh. Nice block. Nice alive. block on that overhead, but the chip damage could still be there. Yeah, Dudley just has to do like an EX machine gun blow. Yeah. Oh, and low short again. Yep, taking goes, it for flow. Went for the low short. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, he's a little <laughs> disappointed with that one. Yeah, but Pukuto definitely. <laughs> but uh, flow moves on. Definitely good Dudley play. Nice adjustment there, too. It looked like he was kind of flustered by that just consistent throw game pressure early yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. And, but great adjustments by Flo and really relying on that crouching short chain that just did so much work for him in that set. Won him three different rounds and just... Yeah, it's it's been, it's always been one of my favorite round finishers just because, I mean, it's so fast. There's a lot of scary... You know, people think something else might be It plays be really well with his overhead game, yeah. right? Like, as you said, his, his mix-ups are unreactable once you're in the corner a lot of the time, so... Okay, it looks like we're going to have... Is POG Yawn again versus Mal? Oh, Dionisio versus Mal. Oh, this is Dionisio. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. That's right. Yeah, Dionisio took it over OG Yawn yes, earlier. Yes, that's right. Oh, I see. Uh, I thought Dionisio hadn't won because he was shaking his head. Yeah, he said they were both shaking their heads yeah. after that because they were both... <laughs> neither, neither player was really happy with how they yeah, played. Yeah, yeah. But Mal, the Vega legend from Super Turbo... Looking from Japan, yeah, all from the way Japan. from Japan. Looking to try to make it out in winners. So is uh, Dionisio here. Yeah, if you're following along at home, that's going to be pool 312 if you're looking yep. at the brackets. This is, is this winners? Yeah, yep, right? This, this is still is, winners here. This is winners, so yeah. Both players, of course, will be call, getting I out of pools I in love the top that, 48. I, I love that t-shirt. <laughs> all right, let's see how Dionisio fights uh, a poke-heavy chun. Checking buttons? Yeah. yeah, button check real quick. Good old button checks. Once again, we are in Schaumburg, Illinois, just the uh, the largest of our uh, areas outside west of Chicago at the Renaissance Schaumburg Convention Center. This place is enormous. How many years uh, going is that for this tournament at this hotel? Uh, I, I was here at the last one. This is year but. two. Oh, okay. So, yeah. uh, okay. This is year two because we had a couple years. Pheasant of Run, of course. We, we had <laughs> Pheasant Run was R. the... R.I.P. <laughs> Obviously, COVID years really threw things right. for a loop. We no, did. I was, when I was looking at the program, I was like, why does it time skip from yeah. 2019 to, oh, yeah. right. <laughs> we had that. We had the, you know. uh, the online-only look-alive year. Yeah, yeah. No. Uh, we're going right Interesting into it Interesting times, here. but yeah. Now we're here. We're in person. This is the fighting game atmosphere you want. Combo Breaker 2023. Let's yep. get it. Love to see it. 24-hour venue starting started today at 10 a.m. Oh. <laughs> And I'm sure some of us will be here for 24 straight oh, hours. yeah. And if you're in the area, I, I believe uh, spectator badges are still available. Yep. You uh, can as come well check as it out. day passes as well. Yep. All right. Dionisio is showing us that slow, you know, that slow roll Ken that he had earlier, that patient and calm collective Ken style. Mao not finding a super yet. Yeah, no punish on the Tatsu really there. Oh, There's there the low parry. 
As I say, playing it a little like CVS2 style here, it's kind of poking. Oh. Ooh. Smacks him out of that EX Fireball and uses a Fireball of his own to chip. Yeah, I'm sure Mao thinks of that uh, that yeah. fierce as his crouching strong when he's playing Vega. Very similar, like dis disjointed hitbox sort of, big button, fast. I think Dionysia thought he might oh. have been able to survive that chip too because he didn't even try to parry that. No, he didn't. But yeah, dashes in, gets caught by the super. Mao threatening another bar. That parry doesn't help actually because that builds bar. So oh. Yeah, oh, two hit medium DP there. Oh, decides and to use yeah, it. Yeah, just uses it. Says, get off me. Yeah, that's a good choice, I think. God, that, true, that crouching jab from Chun, such a menace. Yeah, you so can't fast. really, you can't punish it even if you parry it. Just recovers for her in time. And if she wants, she can hit Confirm Super off of it. How about yeah. that? <laughs> oh. Ooh. Yeah, could have maybe had a Super after that. That's jumping, okay, though. Yeah. Like, Dionysio again, taking, taking their time. Nice throw. Mao also just patient. Uh, that's the gonna confirm. do it. Confirm. Really yeah. late. Nice cancel. Confirm from Mao. There takes game one. Definitely some techniques you can apply to buffering for Chun about uh, like canceling that super. There's there's definitely a, a window you can see her do the early confirm and the late confirm. Yeah. There's kind of there's a little bit of technique to that actually. I would like to shout out a community member, Engine Number Nine. He's all the way out in Phoenix currently, but a former New York oh, wow. player. He makes some YouTube videos and he explains some of that stuff about Chun. Yep. Um, I said, well, for the longest time uh, in early third strike, people thought it was actually a link. Right, because like, it, it looks like a link. It can from that link. Be, can't it sometimes? Like uh, technically, from certain buttons, it, it can work as such. But yeah, but from low forward, like it's a cancel. Yeah, it, it's a cancel, even though it looks like it's completely finished. Right. Like, it's yeah. You got that late cancel, which where she's like fully completed the yeah. leg rotation, and then you do it. What's crazy? I'm pretty sure crouching medium kick is only active for one frame as well. Wow! <laughs> it's such a bizarre move. It gets one right there into super. Dionysio finding himself in the corner again. Mao just threatening with these yeah. buttons. Big life lead. No super built up for Dionysio. Once again, match point for Mao. Gonna try to make it out in winners to top 48. Mao just showing strong confirms, showing yeah. strong fundamentals as you would expect. Good jump in there from Dionysio. Got the sweep. Now he's go. got him in the corner. Yeah, yeah, this is good look. Has to those buttons are so tough to deal with. Oh no! Oh, okay, okay. Hit crosses left. up at the very last second. Doesn't get the parry on the spinning bird. Did an empty jump though. Uh, just gets poked away by that crouching jab. Dionysio's one Ooh. thing so far hasn't been he hasn't been able to really close that gap and get in her face too often. Oh, again, almost had it. Although those very extreme tip hitting crouching medium kicks, those are tough. Those are really hard to confirm from that range. There nice. It is. There we go. Target Got, combo. Yep, target combo. Loses a little damage with the fireball, but it makes it a lot easier to confirm. Yeah, Dionysio showing life. Nice, nice tech there. I like it. Overhead, overhead. There it Dionysio, is. Dionysio, yep. very good. Yeah. Very controlled round from from him that time for sure. Mal though sitting on two bars now. Yeah, this is a, this is a tough situation. Got to be smart and oh, aggressive. This is the, that oh was no, a miss. no, yeah, no. miss input on the super. Gets the throw again. There's the brown house. Oh, didn't get caught him there, but did, didn't get the confirm. Short jab, short. Oh, nice tech, gutsy tech. Honestly, there's he got caught him dashing in. Yeah, this is. Oh, yeah, there it is, yeah. Mal. Just the subtle. Delay, walk back, the it's shimmy. the whiff throw, yep. So Mao it, moves on. And Mao hasn't had Chipotle yet. He's going to get to tell all of his friends back in Japan he wanted a burrito. <laughs> Although, so. yep. All right, and, uh, yeah, we'll be right back here. We're going to take a quick ad break. Uh, we've got more third strike action coming up next. Yeah, we're going to be wrapping up the loser's bracket, so stay tuned. There's plenty more Combo Breaker 2023 action coming at you on the way. But first, let's take a quick commercial break. If you want to add to your Combo Breaker merch legacy collection, don't forget to head over to the Combo Breaker shop to check out all the amazing merch. Get yours before they run out. Red Bull gives you wings. Ready? Street Fighter 6. Fight. <laughs> Fighter 6. 
Welcome to the Chipotle Challenger Series featuring Street Fighter VI. Grab a friend and play against the best for a chance to win over $30,000 in prizes, free Chipotle for a year, and a paid trip to Evo. Sign up today at ChipotleChallengerSeries.com. on all these amazing Kwamba arcade sticks using the code Combo Breaker 2023 available all weekend at KwambaUSA.com. Take charge of your game with Hitbox, the button-only arcade controller with improved performance, accuracy, and speed. Stop by their booth and test it out today. When it comes to fire tech and gear, Tenno has the matchup. Make sure to check out all the Tekken merch by scanning the code on the screen or visiting tenno.gg slash merch. Mortal Kombat 1 ushers in a new era of the iconic franchise with a new fighting system, game modes, and fatalities. Discover a reborn Mortal Kombat universe created by the fire god Liu Kang, featuring reimagined versions of iconic characters as they've never been seen before. Sign up via the QR code or at the website on the screen for a chance to join the upcoming Mortal Kombat 1 online stress test. Mortal Kombat 1 will be available on September 19th. Pre-order your copy today. All right, welcome back, everybody, to Combo Breaker 2023. Thank you for joining us. This is continued pools actions of pools 311 and 312 here at Combo Breaker 2023 for Third Strike. This yep. is going to be Play Guy versus Dingen Loops. Yep, thanks for sticking with us. Uh, we got just another uh, few more games left of this pool pools round. Uh, mm -hmm. We're going to wrap up some players trying to make it into top 48 which will be played uh, tomorrow but there will be some other pool blocks going on all throughout the weekend pretty yeah. much yeah stay tuned here vampire arcadia is going to have a lot of third strike action today and some vampire savior of course so all right play guy with ken dungeon loops okay so it's, uh, yeah i was using uh okay was using yang earlier yeah using yang earlier but going with the hugo maybe maybe he's had a run through losers bracket using hugo there possible yeah. Busted it out, but Play Guy using Ken here. Got the YSB Ooh. Hugo color. Boots to the face. Ooh. Nice use of that. Yeah. Oh. oh. Okay. Knows what he's doing here. Got yeah. that big roundhouse. That jumped air to air medium punch comes out really quick. Yeah, Ken looking to get that okie doke instant overhead on Hugo whenever he ducks. Hugo's got such a tall hitbox. So Hugo really has no good like anti air buttons on the ground. You, he has to use unorthodox anti-air sometimes. Yeah, his, that one's... His, yeah, his shoot-down backbreaker gets stuffed yeah. so easily yeah. in, unless it's preemptive. Very, yeah, you have to do the hard read on that one. I do like the jump lariat from Dungeon Loops there. Yeah, if you could space that really well, even if they parry it, they don't really get a punish. Maybe was even looking for a super confirm because Dungeon Loops is playing Super Art 3 with Hugo. Yep. St staying true to the YSB color selection and playing Hammer Mountain. Exactly. Closing the distance. Oh, man, that crossed up so late, too. EX Tatsu is so dirty against Hugo because of his tall size. It's great, yeah. Play guy content to turtle this out and just keep yep. Dungeon Loops at bay. He has to parry these fireballs now or going to take chip. Doesn't and parry yep, the second there hit. Said, as you said, got to get that t second parry there. Mistimes it. Round one, play guy. Yeah, one of the Hugo players we'll Ooh. probably see a little later is Big Bad Wolf, uh, and you know, crowd favorite for sure. Hugo is always a crowd favorite. That sweep, really good crouching medium kick sweep. It's a choke slam. Yep. Get, yeah, I was gonna get a follow up button after that. Haven't seen any collapse going for pressure yet with it. There we go. Yeah. It's those plus frames, but gets swept into the corner. Very odd uh, interaction there. 
I think uh, Hugo's dash kind of took him airborne. Jump roundhouse from Hugo. Gets parried. Knocked down. Gets, oh, it doesn't go for the body splash. But the target combo is going to miss. Can just hammer no. out and back and misses yeah, it. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was trying to input there. Uh, he's gonna not going to quite die yet for it. Hugo does have a lot of life, but still. Oh, wake up, that hammer mount. That will hit, and that will kill. That will kill. Yep. Yeah. As that what I was hoping he was going to do earlier to, to punish that mm -hmm. that super whiff. Just do super immediately with, with Hugo. Yeah, Hammer Mountain, I mean, it's not as flashy, of course, as uh, Gigas, but it super does. Super effective. It's, it's just so util It's got such good utility yeah. for him, and it gives him things he doesn't normally have, which is a confirm, really. Yep. Gets the target combo confirm, punish here with the parry. Play Guy was looking solid. Just gave up a few straight pokes to Hugo, but. In control this match, it's looking like. Zoning with those EX fireballs. Yep, walking his way out of the corner. Gaining screen control back. And nice. After that parry, gets that medium punch. Sweep again. Sweep right back at you. <laughs> Can't whiff on me. Oh, gets the parry. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it crosses parry, up. Parried it on the front, and then <laughs> and it still got crossed hit up. Out, hit on the back. Yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah, again, the EX Tatsu's from Play Guy. He knows I, this option is fine. Like, I wouldn't stop using it. Nope. Yep. Now just throwing EX Hottos and building meter. Wa dash up throw. Dash up throw. Had Dingen Loops pretty desperate to do something yeah. there. And read the hesitation with the dash up I, throw. He could have ate two wake up supers and still had enough life to. He didn't even care yep. at that point. Yeah. But and Play Guy, very impressive. Dingen Loops, though. Still trying to fight for his loser's bracket life here. Still alive. Is he going to make a switch? Is he going to stick with the Hugo? Like I said, we did see him playing Yang in the winner's bracket. Yes. So it looks and like he's switching back to switching Yang. Over. Okay, here we go. I like this matchup a lot. Uh, it's pretty fun for Yang. Like, overall, I think Yang can do pretty decent at it. Has has the tools. Yeah. But Play Guy yeah. was showing he knew matchup you know, experience against Hugo. There we go. Punishes that close medium kick. Yeah, I like that. That was really good, actually. Using that air to air. Gets a parry. Yep. With dive kick, though, afterwards. Yun can uh, chain. Dive kick after that jump medium kick. Gets the EX slash, is knocked down. Nice tech there. Play guy gets jump, tries to jump out, but just lands right in his face. Another close medium oh. kick. He was, Dingen Loops has shown that he was doing a lot of those in his earlier set with Yang, so I wonder if Play Guy's going to read that. Ah, uh, yeah, that was an unsafe dive kick there. Short, short super. And short, short super's going to play. Yeah, if you get hit, if a dive kick hits that high up, Ken can just DP immediately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Match point. Play guy here. Dingen Loops fighting for his tournament life. SA2 stocked up, it's about two or three EX mana slashes, which is basically what it's used for most of the time. Yeah, generally speaking, he'll only super R2 if he, if he knows he's going to kill with it or something. Like, it's very rare. He'll spin the meter on that. But that's all you need is EX mana slashes. It's a great button. Doesn't get him there after that confirm. It's a do sure use the crouching medium kick. No respect DP on that one. That pummel throw builds a decent amount of stun. Gets the parry punish. No respect DP some play guy. I think he's going to wake up here. Okay. Stun has built up, though, and but that's uh, not going to do enough. One hit's going to kill here. Backing off a little. Trying not to give up maybe a stray super. Play guy yeah. does show that he has those. Oh, that's said, Dingen's combo. still got to be careful. Kin can still kill, but there's the EX Mantis. Yeah, with, with uh, dive kick into EX Mantis. Solid poking move. It comes out so fast. Whoa. That play guy took a few risks that round. I'm, I think he might play a little more careful this round. He was kind of whiffing some DPs mm -hmm. just to see what Dingen was going for. Ooh, we get the chain one, two, nice three. Nice parry there. Oh, goes for the overhead, gets jabbed out of it. Misses oh, the confirm. Yep, got the first short, but the next one is going to go for super. Okay, too far, that's right? an okay. That's that's worth it. He he had a lot of meter for EX. Um, yeah, yeah, I respect you, it. You get the knockdown. Nice empty okay, jump parry. Dingen loops. Yeah, With, throw, the oh, gets the overhead that time. There, oh, misses it. That would have been it, it too, yeah. yeah. Now all of a sudden, Play Guy here. On the back foot, yeah, but Play Guy has a chance. He's got two bars and the corner. Yeah, Yun, Yang doesn't have good wake up. I like that here. One confirmed care can take it. Oh, there it is. Gets, gets a grab. Back, yeah, gets back thrown. Yeah, I would say a little one of Yang's other weaknesses compared to Yun is he doesn't have a good wake up. Yun, no, Yun's yeah, he doesn't really have anything besides super. That's it. Right, Yun's got up kicks, which you know it's not great, but it's still better than what Yang's got. It's it's something. Yeah, and it juggles. Well, yeah. so does Yang's, but still, it's a little better. So, yeah, yeah, Yang's got to play a little bit more just fundamental footsie heavy mm -hmm. to win win the day. 
But good good starting character, but because of the high ceiling of this game, also a great like late game yeah. character to pick it, up too. It's it's tough sometimes. The mid mid level with Yang and, and it's, it's especially it's tough. Very hard, yeah. Play guy though looking very dominant this round. Yeah, so far getting some jab tick throw pressure here from Dingen Loops, but not getting any follow up Oki from that. All right, there you go, gets Ooh, the poke. Add it up quickly. Just Play guy, just yeah, one more low forward. Oh. Woo. Standing roundhouse. roundhouse. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't want to commit to more than one Mantis Slash, otherwise it's possible. Second punish, it, it does! Dingen loops. Oh no, that is not where you want to throw a fireball, but he did. He tried testing the reaction at Dingen, who now is up on match point. Reacting to that fireball. Yeah. I thought it was too late, but it's still punished. Fireballs have a lot of recovery in this game. Knockdown. An aggressive player from Play Guy. But <laughs> oh. We're seeing a lot of those chain combos. Yeah. The one, two, three. Or yeah, the three hit chain from Yang. You don't see that very often. There's the confirm there from Play Guy. Gets him knocked down to the corner. Throw. Yeah. yeah. Play Guy answers back. Pretty, pretty solid on that round. Both players here. Go. Giving each other a run for their burrito. <laughs> Mantis slashes. Yeah, early pressure from Denjin. Tries to get out, but. That Tatsu does not oh. hit, unlike on Hugo, who does was so tall. Does the long dash, yeah. though. A little, little risky. Yang sitting on a full full stick of butter. Can EX Mantis so, Slash yeah. whenever it, he gets that hit confirmed. Just, just playing a lot more careful here. Gets low forward. No super stocked yet. Huh. Walk up throw. I like this play here from Dingen. Playing a lot more solid now. God, nice air to air and the low forward. Yeah, playing a little more back, you know, back and off at the right times here. Oh, bad fireball again from Play Guy. There and is. there's the roundhouse. Does he get enough uh -oh. to chip? Uh oh. All right. Are we going to see, like, yeah, a chip out attempt? Okay, EX fireball. Oh, low what? forwards. This is Dingen loops. This is his round to lose. Anybody's game here. And wake, wake up, up super. super. I had a feeling. Wins him the game. I had a I had a small <laughs> feeling that might be coming. It was pretty, I mean, it was close to chip death territory. <laughs> so, yeah, Dingen loops celebrating that getting out of pools. <laughs> Very Not happy in pools. Him. Very, yeah, good stuff. All right, I believe I'm seeing my, my boy Zanshin coming up here. Yep, we're going to have the last winner's bracket match. Uh, IFD Big Red coming up against Zanshin. Oh, all right. Tough. That's right, you said. It's yeah. going to be a tough match for Zanshin. Big Red looked really dominant in his first oh, match on stream. Uh, I think Alex players more than any, other than Chun, of course, more than any other character, Alex players can't stand fighting Ken. Like, oh, yes, definitely. He's I have, really I got good. My, I have a good friend who lives up here who, who runs into, he plays at Logan Arcade with him, and he's an Alex player as uh -huh. well. And he's like, yeah, Big yeah. Red just destroys me. Yeah. <laughs> No, nah, I mean, Alex, like we were saying earlier when we were watching Zanshin, a very, like, all-or-nothing character, and sometimes you, you get nothing. <laughs> That's, and, and Ken is very good at making sure you get nothing. Yeah, Ken is a wall. Ken has all the tools to really make Alex not be able to play sometimes. But, like I said, Alex still has a puncher's chance no matter what. You make yeah. a few right reads and you play solid enough. I mean, it, he's got one of the better Kara throws in the game as well that you can harass with. Yep. Go. Button check here. Yeah, I know uh, Zanshin also a really good Guilty Gear Exert player, but yep. kind of in it. When you go and play at Arcade Legacy like we do, you kind of play everything because yeah, it's it's, a, it's like a small tight knit community there, you know. So that, that was like, hey, my my first community growing up in, in, uh, in Champaign, I was one of two Third Strike players. And then everyone else was Guilty Gear players. Right, so I was, you and Flexo, right? Yeah. So Shout-outs to Flexo. So I kind of forced myself to learn Guilty Gear a little bit, yeah. just, just to play with people. Oh, yeah. Spe yeah, shout-outs to the Chicago Guilty Gear scene. Massive. Uh, max range, roundhouse. Yeah. Zanshin gets a knockdown, though, huh? But, I, yeah. Or, yeah, Big Red just getting these pokes. And you know now, just sitting on one bar, the next... Next thing that confirms for Big Red, it's it's going into super oh, crouching. That's fierce, disgusting. That is that is the real like big that brain is tech. some knowledge right there. Fire. Using that buffered normal from that range, knowing, knowing that it would character. it would only hit. Yeah, Alex, and another another from big that shoulder range. boy. You know, he he shops. But, oh, oh, there it is. Oh, but nice uh, clutch parry there from Big Red. Just yeah. survives that round actually. Yeah, really, it would have probably killed him. Sun but stun is still there though. Yeah, Zanshin knows this. He's gonna try to. Uh, yeah, there, there it is. is. Yeah, that one ex is gonna take it. <laughs> this one actually helped Zanshin a little bit, build some more bar. Yeah, uh, favorable there. 
I have to eat big red there. <laughs> no, that that's, was that, that that's standing the power medium of kick Alex poke. right there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Can you get that stun bar filled up? Nice parry. Yeah, option select, neutral jump parry from Big Red. Gets the poke away from the EX charge elbow. It's engine though, looking very impressive right now. Big Red though, starting to put up that wall of defense. Yeah. Nice. Gets the jump Spacing in. those jump roundhouses though, where he's not at any risk of being punished. Yep. So is Anshin. Also, uh, it's it's at a range. Oh, oh nice cross parry. Up parry! Yes. Opposite side. Choose a side. It's either going to be a block or a parry. At the, if you can, if you have exactly. the timing down, yeah. Yeah, that is that is the weakness of Alex Stomp. Is if you know you can, you pretty much and, are safe. And, at, the, and at any time said, from it. That right there, that's that's Alex's issue. He goes for the big risky play. And yeah. And. Ken just answered, good stuff to Big Red, takes game one. But yeah, Zanshin showing that, you know, he can threaten any time to take a round. So, gonna be looking for probably a slash elbow here. Big Red probably aware of that, throwing out some just standard hados to keep him at bay. Yep. Yeah, slash elbow to get in, parries the jump fierce. Throws him right back into the corner here. Sure, 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 but no super stocked yet. Stand there, there, it is, yeah, there it is again, Catch, catching yeah. him with it. Oh, there it is. Yeah. God, on point. Sure, Zanshin will know after this one maybe not to try those anymore on Big Red. Dirty. Yeah, there it is. Dirty setup on that. It looked like Ken teleported around two <laughs> or three times there when you timed that right. Yeah. Yeah, Alex, no good, no real good wake-up options except for Super, and zanshin has been spending that bar on the EX, yep. uh, you know, slash elbows, so... Not in a good position here. No, crouching medium, uh, parry confirm. Stuff from Big Red has the core overhead, pressure overhead. Doesn't have the meter. But, yeah, able to just back off. and Oh, standing oh. fierce. This wall from Big Red it, it right now. It is a wall right now. Crouching the back fierce, fierce again. Punish. That is Caught so big. Caught the standing medium kick. Big Red, dominant round there to take it, to move on to winners. Good Top stuff from Jen. But Zanshin with yep. a thumbs up. Know, know that he gets a free meal out of the deal as well. So not, not unhappy. Um, still... Didn't quite make the full deal, but still gets the meal. Right. You know, there we go. All righty, everybody. So that was our last match here for these two pools. So thank you so much for joining us. Those were pools 311 and 312 for Combo Breaker here if you're following along at home. Yeah, and there's going to be plenty more Third Strike to come this weekend. Uh, more pools are going to be streamed. We're going to have round two tomorrow. Top 24 to top eight is going to be here on this stream mm -hmm. Sunday. So stay tuned for that. I've had a good time commentating with blast, you once James. again. Always. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure, Be James. seeing you plenty this weekend. Absolutely. Stay tuned. There's a lot of combo breaker to come this weekend, a lot of matches. All right, and we're going to move on to the next pool here, and I will be uh, – are we staying on for that? Is Are we still doing that, or is that – yep, okay. Nope, okay, no. never mind. Oh, no, no. Because <laughs> I've got I've to go play. So, exactly. Yeah. But stay tuned. We're going to have a lot more matches coming your way. Uh, thanks for joining us. Bye, everybody.
Yo, you see that overhead? Oh my goodness. Wow, Nobody was, was blocking that. Ooh, I anyway. definitely got hit. That Ooh. was wild, man. These matches have been great. Oh, absolutely. You know what? We're about to take a quick break here, and Combo Breaker 2023 is still going on. Uh, don't worry. This time, we're going to order for yeah, you. Yeah, we got you. Don't, don't even worry about Be it. Be right back. Don't forget to head on over to the Combo Breaker shop to check out all the amazing merch. But don't delay, because that merch is going to go quick. Welcome to the Chipotle Challenger Series featuring Street Fighter VI. Grab a friend and play against the best for a chance to win over $30,000 in prizes, free Chipotle for a year, and a pay trip to Evo. Sign up today at ChipotleChallengerSeries.com. Check out the official Skullgirls comic series. Available now on Webtoon with 20 plus episodes and the series is still going. Mortal Kombat 1 ushers in a new era of the iconic franchise with a new fighting system, game modes, and fatalities. Discover a reborn Mortal Kombat universe created by the fire god Liu Kang, featuring reimagined versions of iconic characters as they've never been seen before. Sign up via the QR code or at the website on the screen for a chance to join the upcoming Mortal Kombat 1 online stress test.
I'm so over asking these people to give me their chances. They see hooligans and sneakers who've been actually champions. You can hold the violins up at the spit of the sands. Killers on the cabinet, baby, you got me interested. This be hitting different South Chicago to Michigan. My style so advanced on my greatest quotes. I'm a gibberish to ignorance. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Combo Breaker 2023. Are you guys ready for some more third strike? We got third strike pools continuing. I am JM Crofts. I am here with Raph. How you doing today? I'm doing great. It's Combo Breaker. It's one of the, if not the best fighting game tournament you can ever find. And with this third strike action, it's going to be insane. As so many people have come across from all over the United States. Yes. We saw action earlier with the last block. We're going to keep it moving, keep it grooving as we'll find out who will be moving on through those pools. We're trying to get the first match sorted out here. You know, something I really like about uh, Combo Breaker when it comes to Third Strike is we have a lot of different scenes that come out. You know, this is one of the majors where uh, you kind of get a representation of everybody. And I think a big scene to look out for is especially the Chicago scene. Uh, only like an hour away from here, Third Strike, very big in Chicago. So uh, we'll see if we can see some players from there. But I've also seen players from Japan, from uh -huh. France already, and obviously uh, all over the U.S. So Third Strike, people are coming out. They want to play. That's right. They love to see it. I mean, Retro's been going crazy as yeah. of late. You know, so many ways to play it and just these offline tournaments. We saw, I think, a Third Strike tournament in Europe. Like a couple weeks ago, we saw Co-op Cup. Yeah. People going oh, out through dude, there. The return of Co-op Cup was so sick. But these matches are about to be sick. Looks like we got our first one coming up right here. We got Double W. And <laughs> T Gold. T -Gold. So Shoto matchup, mm -hmm. Ken versus Akuma here. It's always fun to see these kind of matchups because it's a race. Can Akuma get the resources he needs before Ken just smokes him? Because that damage, you'll feel it. Playing Akuma, you already see it as Double W with a huge lead here gets the sweep. Does uh, it get the DP punish? That's but scary. Ooh. Yeah, empty jump, no parry there. Yeah, th this is an interesting matchup because, you know, Ken generally considered like one of the gods of the game, but uh, Akuma is such a strong character too because uh, he's got some advantages that Ken doesn't even have. He's got the invincible teleport, he's got invincible dragon punch for no meter, but Ken with the threat of Super Art 3, one of his primary strengths. Yeah, it's always the hard part too. And you see now Teagle in a decent spot. Gets a punish here. No, no oh, sweep. Unfortunate. Not getting these spots correct. And is down so much. Oh, Heavily wake up EXDP. Double W is partying right now. Let's go. Oh, 
any little thing could do it. I'll oh, try to no, this parry. is the parry and the chip. Okay, T-Gold on the back foot a little bit. Getting relentlessly rushed down by Ken here. And that's kind of the Ken special, right? This character can play the footsies really good, but once he has resources, it's yeah. big damage, big pressure, and Double W is going to show why it's hard to play Akuma, because you just lose so quick. That was not even uh, like yeah. a minute, and when we're things, off. When things are going well for Akuma, he can be very dominant, but uh, when he's getting, you know, hit by different combos, he's got like the shortest stun meter in the game, yeah, he can die real fast, so. That was WWE's game, yes. So let's see. Are we going to get the, the adaptation here? And yeah, there, there's a few like interesting little tricks with Akuma that I think we saw stuff like uh, towards medium punch. Very interesting move. Throw invincible overhead uh -huh. by accident. So uh, there's some little tricks that can be applied. Yeah, I love like those little things you see in these arcade releases. And now, pressure on as T-Gold is going and exerting some offense here. Already putting Double W in the corner, but the uppercut's going to make it out and get a good amount of damage. We're just moving in the Tatsu over. Yeah, Double W, he's, he's representing the wake-up DP quite efficiently here. But there's, again, the invincible DP from Akuma. Since he doesn't have access to EX moves, he does not need to spend EX meter to get some invincibility on that uppercut. Yeah. But still, oh, it's a oh, big yeah. hit, gets the juggle, not enough yet. Yeah, Ken's Air EX Tatsu is a very strong move. Mm -hmm. They got the parry on the first one, no chip there, but the Tatsu's oh, gonna yeah. get punished. Try to get cute with it, hop copter over, but now double W match point, trying to get that double W. <laughs> yeah, gonna, if, if they want to get this dub, there's gonna have to be a change here. So, you know, trying, ooh, that was a very good parry on the demon flip, and now, in a bad spot, trying to force your way out with some crouch strongs. No punish on the sweep. T Gold letting some damage on the table. Whoa! Teleport! Dash up Good. uppercut or a dash up teleport gets punished. This is looking bad. Oh, tough spot. Any EX just like that. And now we're at possible Ooh, chip instead. Yeah, air to air. Mm -hmm. All right, double W, get into double W's, taking that set <laughs> yes, two to zero over T Gold, moving on to that bracket. That was see. one of the fastest third. I mean, Akuma, he, he goes down fast, man. Ridiculous. They knew what happened after second impact. <laughs> they were saying, wait a second here. This character's a little too good. You know, I always say, whenever there's a fighting game character where they're like, okay, we're going to give them, you know, this tool and this tool and so many good things, but it's okay. We'll balance it because they're going to have really low HP, right? <laughs> like that, that very rarely do characters like that, you know, come out in like a balanced state. But Akuma, because of the power of stun in this game, there are so many characters where their goal is really to stun you. Uh, and Akuma having the shortest stun bar, he yeah. can die really fast, as well as obviously the, the low HP. So he can be an extremely powerful character, but uh, he can be a liability as well. Yeah, yeah, only a few, a few mistakes and already a game where it's heavy on offense and momentum. So yeah. we're getting our next players up on here. You see the, the whole backdrop here. We're in the secondary ballroom with all the artists, Alley, in the back there. Always a great part of going to offline events is getting some cool merch, feeling how everything's going. I mean, the chairs aren't full up yet as people are playing. But yeah, the, the, this has been a fun room just to walk around in because we got all the, the super gun setups. They got Super Turbo in here, Vampire Savior. Mm -hmm. I think Melty Blood is right next to us. Uh, we got a good representation of some, uh, some old school games happening here. But we're here for the third strike. You know, I feel like <laughs> whenever I, I was in the arcade playing earlier, uh, Combo Breaker, they have a great, great arcade set up here with lots of machines to play casuals on. But I feel like third strike is the one game that I never play at tournaments because people are such fiends. Like, people are lined <laughs> up. There's like five people that want to get next. I'm like, damn. I'll end up going over and playing CBS 2 or something. But yeah, the third strike, uh, the fandom here, the, uh, the competitors, they're so serious. And these guys, you know, they want to get that Chipotle burrito. This is what That's I've been it. talking about all weekend. <laughs> Everyone who gets out of pools at Combo Breaker this year. They get a free burrito. I've been seeing those cards. and they look, <laughs> It's just so nice to see. Just here you go. And you don't even want it. Maybe I wouldn't want to use it. I'd be like, this is I my know, trophy just keep it, just keep for it. that. You know, how often are you get a free burrito for playing fighting games? <laughs> And, and you can collect them, too. Every every game you get out of pools, and you get one. So if someone's really good, they, they'll end up like Gambit. They got, like, the whole fistful oh of, my God, of yes. kinetic cards I want to see that kinetic burrito. Mm. <laughs> uh, so partnerships like that are what I'm all about. I, lo I love to see just more stuff popping like that. And it's going to yeah. be really, really fun as we're just, you know, tournament season has been always pops during the summertime. And mm. I love Combo Breakers really, Memorial Day weekend, really a big kickstart to it. 
Yeah. So just cool to see how this is all going. And considering how the landscape's going to shift in a week, it is crazy to think. This is really like the last hurrah for kind of this era of, uh, of you know, the fighting game scene. Because obviously we got Street Fighter Six coming yep. with, within, yeah, like one week. And then, you know, shortly after that, we're going to be getting all kinds of other games. Mortal yep, Kombat, Tekken yep. 8. So this really feels like, uh, like a big send-off for, you know, the end of an era, but also uh, a lot of excitement for the start of a new era. All right, well, we're going to go back to the old one here with more Third Strike as Rush Hour 2 on VHS. <laughs> that's a great name. Going up against Owen 2. I, I oh, got, that's a great oh, name, too. Owen yes. 2. Oh, we got <laughs> jokes. We got jokes. So Alex versus Goki. So this is really like night and day. Like we were talking about the the Akuma health issue. And we got Alex, stun. like the biggest, the biggest stun bar in the game. Yeah, and the biggest stunner. Anything yes. from Rush Hour 2 on VHS can put... Oh, and two what was in that a cross up body spot? Oh, no! Gets the big dive. Gets a chop though. This is a good offense from Owen, too. He's just putting that pressure on. Don't want to get stunned or get hit, but got to be careful. One mistake. That's okay. Cold Doom, especially. We got a lot of meat on Owen, too. Good block on the stomp. Trying to go for chip tactics here. Got one parry on the Tatsu, but there's another one incoming. Yeah, I like the effort trying to get those parries down. You got to be on point, though, especially when you're playing a big body against the Tatsu machine in, in Akuma. Yeah, that's a nice combo there. And w one of the things about Third Strike is this game is very much about meter economy. Getting the lead in meter can make a huge difference. And we can see Owen Tzu has a lot of meter to work with going for the air super. Okay, it's blocks. Back heavy punch, no good. Ooh, that EX slash, great attack from Alex. Trying to get some media, trying to get some damage here. But the roll, wow. oh, no. Diving right into Akuma's arms, getting punished. And Owen Tzu with the first win. Gonna have to change his name if he's not careful. Uh, yeah, I know. One, uh, one. Oh, you're <laughs> you win one more, then uh, we'll call you a liar. But yeah, that cross shot from Alex. It's a dangerous attack, man. Like any attack that kind of changes your air uh, timing up there, you know, to be hard to parry, hard to anti, can be effective. But yeah, so unsafe. Yeah, especially spooky. So we'll see how they shift around here. Though Owen two looking extra strong already, backing up, putting out the air fireballs, just avoiding. This situation, totally get put in the corner. Ooh, be going for a little bit of a shimmy there is Alex with the hit grab back fierce. We're seeing no fear DPs. So this is the second game. <laughs> yeah, People that's true. Knowing that they can get blown over if they make the wrong read, but here comes the pressure. There's the throw, and it's a big lead for Rush Hour 2 on VHS. Oh, yeah, there is the EX slash, and now he gets the throw. That's going to put Owen 2 away. Rush Hour 2 on VHS. Trying to bring this back here. Going to need some meter, though. Oh, Alex, oh. very meter hungry with moves like EX Slash. Yeah, EX Chop has a lot of resources yeah. for it. But in the corner now, not going to have any really way to bust out. But gets a chance to put some pressure. Owen 2, though, diving in. There's the parry. Ooh. Oh, and look at that damage come through. Nice. Air to air. But yeah, there's the DP into super. It's an effective tactic for Akuma because it generally makes him safe to parry. Okay, big throw. What are you going to finish off here? Ooh. Chop. Chip a factor up. now. Just lets what it a rip. Call out. I saw a button on Rush Hour 2 on VHS, but it got blown up, and now 0-2 looking to go 1-0. and <laughs> Yeah, Alex, a pretty scary character to play defensively. His only real invincible move is uh, his super, and super is kind of a jank move to land. It doesn't always combo, but nice combo. Okay, stun getting to be an issue here on Akuma. Didn't manage to bait out the teleport. Oh, in prime position, Ooh. try to get the command grab with the wake up uppercut. Owen 2 fighting it out in this game and has some pressure going on. A little bit of bar. Punish. Smash super. Nice block. The full screen EX elbow. Yeah, no parries from Owen 2. Oh, I like that respect for Rush Hour. 2 on VHS. Gets thrown back. Red fireball. There's the slide. Ooh, There's the jump. Wait There's a the minute, Owen 2. Does the DDT to get out of the corner. Chip is a factor, chip is a factor. Yeah, you can. Oh, what an uppercut to call out. And Owen, too, sneaks it out with a pixel of life. Wow, that was another crazy fast round. What's going on, man? It's like I blink. Is this, is this co op cup? Is this first to one? <laughs> I mean, man. Well played. And something that was interesting there, you know, we saw uh, Alex taking a lot of chip from stuff like Akuma Red Fireball. Obviously, parrying Akuma Red Fireball can put you in a very scary situation because he's going to follow it mm -hmm. up with the Demon Flip and mix you. So I understand that. But yeah, in the end, all the chip added up plus that Invincible DP. Can yeah, just, it was so scary. He had just one hit. 
on Rush Hour 2 on VHS. All they needed, but they couldn't find it. And that's just how it goes sometimes. <laughs> Rush Hour 2 on VHS. You can't, I cannot say that name just a little bit. I have to say it uh, no, yeah, you every time. It's just that good. <laughs> I always feel there is a bit of a meta in tournaments of like people coming up with names. There's some there's some good ones out there. I like when you're just like hanging around a pool and you hear like the the TO calling out names and you just uh you know hear the creative stuff that people can come up with. Yeah, you only see that at, like offline stuff, right? Yeah. Online is a little trickier, but offline. You, bracket runner is a scary job of what you got to say. <laughs> you do. You got to be careful. All right, so we have one of our best players coming up here for this pull action. That is Tommy Two Step in the, the light colored shirt on the right hand side. Premier Texas player from Austin, repping the Chun Li, always efficient and strong. So it'll be exciting to see how. You know, everyone else can stack up in this pool against one of the Texas fighters. The Texas shirt as well. Got to let people know. That's right. Got to represent. Okay, we're in Ooh. already. So Abuki versus Chun. This is a pretty interesting matchup because Chun Li, one of the annoying things is her hitbox is so small. And a lot of Abuki's effective attacks, like back medium kick, like her uh, reverse dragon punch stomps, they just whiff on Chun when she yeah. crouches. And you see that pressure too, the damage can add up so long. These are just normals connecting, right? And you see Ibuki's life just disappearing. Tommy with just the wow. pressure gets that grab, and that's going to go into round one. And what's even scarier, Chun with one bar of yes. Super Art 2. Every bar of meter Chun has is a huge problem. And nice confirm, getting that late cancel on the down medium kick. Half-Life already gone, and it's spelling trouble here for Flex. So we can see another kind of issue Ibuki can have in this matchup. One of her go-to pokes is towards plus medium kick. The advantage of that, oh my god, I don't even get to talk about it because we got another hit confirmed super. Yeah, a third strike. You blink, you try to make a sentence, you have to cut that off. That's why everyone's going, hey, 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 because it's short and sweet. Tommy, two-step is looking clean with it. But yeah, so normally, Ibuki towards medium kick is safe on parry. That's that's one of her abusable tactics. Safe on parry, but not against Chun. Chun's got that that fast jab, the two the two frame or three frame jab, depending on how you talk, and that's exactly it. The punish there, and she can confirm that into super, which can make this matchup a little bit tricky. Yeah, it's just so hard to put offense against Chun Li, especially when a character like Ibuki, when you know. Ooh, the penguin click. And nice punish to dash forward, Tommy. Ooh, nice. That was a good answer to the standing fierce there with the option select parry. But there's the Kara throw from Chun. Another one of her powerful tools. So much damage on the back of that as well. Parry comes out from Tommy. Has the meter. Can close up this round without a problem. It's going to force flex. Oh, to play the double safer. parry. Look at the punish, too. Tommy, two-step. Let's go! Flex thought he had an idea there to put on offense with the penguin kicks. Instead, Tommy shuts it down. Yes, normally that move is very safe because uh, you can throw the kunai, but just parrying and dashing past it. Now you're stuck in the corner, Ooh. and there's the meter too. Stun gonna become an issue soon, or you know maybe just death, the ultimate issue. Ah! Oh, the parry <laughs> on the slide like that, Tommy with the green bar. Finishes up 2-0, and we're keeping it going as this is just blazing through these matches, but Tommy's showing I mean, why he's so good. I, you said it at the start. You were like, this is going to be one of the players to watch in this block, and I think that's exactly what's happening. So, uh, yeah, definitely putting on a show. Looking like a huge obstacle for everyone else in the pool. Oh, we got a little... That's his thing. That's, that's the two-step. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll get the next set of play. I mean, no one has any time to, like, think or rest. It's like after every 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 match starts, and it's, like, already over. This is crazy. Well, you know what they say. Third strike, y'all. We, we were talking earlier about how this is such an ag aggressive game. Yeah, there you know, there is a lot of patient footsies. There is a lot of poking. But at the end of the day, because of the existence of parry, yep. a lot of the traditional Street Fighter tactics running away and throwing fireballs, not super effective. So... Uh, it's a very rushdown heavy game. Yeah, everyone's got to have that kind of just awareness of it where, you know, you can't slip up. People are ready just to dash in your face. You know, having the ability to jump pretty much almost freely. Yeah, that, that's on also there true. Just yeah. adds that wrinkle on it. So you're playing, you know, you're just playing a different game. That's just the beauty of how a game develops 
from like have three versions and it just kind of turns into this as the the, the mechanics get refined mm -hmm. from like the first two Street Fighter threes and it just became this beautiful thing that people till this day still just enjoy so much because there is no other fighting game like Third Strike. Right. It's so so different from everything else in the series and like uh, also the 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 roster is very different as well. A lot of characters that you don't see in too many games and even you know returning characters obviously like Ryu plays pretty different in this uh -huh. than you might be you know normally Ryu is like the the patient like sit back and throw fireballs poke with crouching medium kick but in this game he, he gets the knockdown he sets up the dungeon so really unique stuff it's so cool and I love that too right having multiple supers however it goes but we got Hugo from Call Me Sig versus Balls Deep <laughs> I was with are we allowed to say that <laughs> You know how it goes when you come to a major. <laughs> <laughs> put it all, put them out on the table here. Let's go. So Ken versus Hugo. Hugo, I always say, is a very underrated character, but I think I say it so much that maybe he's appropriately rated now. But H Hugo, he can definitely hang with pretty much the whole roster, I would say. He has a lot of the normal grappler problems. You know, obviously, mm -hmm. he's slow, but uh, his pokes are very strong. Yeah, and it's like... Big thing you'll see from Hugo, Hugo is how good are they at playing Third Strike for Ooh. the system? Nice cancel in the super balls deep with that first round. Because like if you play Hugo, you have to be good at pairing. Yeah, that's a big thing, and that's a testament you can tell by like the strength of them. How well can they prevent people from running them over them? How can they make these special moments happen right now? Sig trying to move forward, clopping his way in. And I'm just gonna in. okay. Ooh, there's a nut. Everyone's going nuts with the wake up DPS. We love to see it. This is a scary knockdown, though. Ken gets so much mix here. Just choosing to stand back, though. A little bit of respect. There's that uh, Gigas Breaker on the side I of was gonna Sig. Say, I was going to say, I was going to point out. And, caught. and then, then Ballsy just happy. Just sitting back, waiting it out. Going to go win. Any one hit. Yeah, that's There's unsafe. The nice yep. confirm off the crowd strong. So, yeah, you know, Gigas Breaker for Hugo, the Super Art 1. It's not probably the most common super choice, but it's very viable. Uh, and it does give you that big comeback opportunity if you can land it, but mm -hmm. uh, it's looking tough right now. Ken holding things down. I like, I like what I'm seeing from Ball Deep. Just gets the damage, gets the life. We put Hugo in the corner. Now you're just standing outside of that range. You're kind of waiting, big chilling, and it works out really well. Yeah, we're going back into it with Gigas Breaker. So again, like, like you were saying, if you can take advantage of those system mechanics of parry, uh, Hugo can create those opportunities for himself, but... It's a little bit tricky. Yep, you got to be on 100% on top of it because everyone's just going to be, you know, Ooh. getting out. Slap buttons like that. If Hugo can. Oh, oh the, the punch. Butt. Not quite. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Hugo jab. Very strong moves. Like a half screw. Oh, the dolphin dive. heavy. Interesting. Gets thrown though, not into the corner, so not the worst. But how does Sig approach here? Gets oh. EX Tatsu. Yeah, it's so hard to deal with. Yeah, that late EX Tatsu, very ambiguous. And now you're knocked down in the corner. They, oh, whoa, oh, the red parry. I got hyped for a second, but it's okay. It's okay. We're back to neutral. Okay, Gigas Breaker available. Can Sig Ooh, find a punish. opportunity? Oh, oh, I don't know about that. A bit of a hard read or maybe a missed input, but taking a huge risk there with Ken having meter. Pretty even. The jab not working out for an anti-air. Gotta watch out for the two-piece. Nice anti-air chip time. There it oh. is. I think uh, Sig could maybe stand to block a little bit more. I know that sounds like an obvious thing, but the thing is in this game, a lot of times you kind of outbrain yourself going for the big parries and stuff. And Balls Deep is content to just go for medium punch, heavy punch on yeah. wake up. And it's landing a lot of the time, so. Oh, a little punish here. Balls Deep just comfortable. Not really moving forward, just happy to chill out. Ooh, it's been okay. paying off and giving Sig opportunity to move forward, but the low wow, board nice super. Nice confirm. So yeah, Ken, it's harder to hit confirm off one hit with Ken than it is with Chun, but it's definitely possible. And there's the big jump in, not able to get much off it. I like this, the meter here with on Ball's deep side can just kind of finish it off, get some jump in, try to press Sig, still fighting back, Ooh, has to nice get Spray Nice on the jump in. Overhead, nice block. Ooh. Dangerous this is situation. Scary. EX Tatsu can be really what? spooky here. I feel like Ballsy is going to go in once. Instead, wow. gets hit by the booty. Yeah, Sig is applying normals at very good ranges. You can see that max range medium punch slap. Oh, oh I couldn't take the trade. And Balls Deep taking that set. Two to zero as the patience pays off. Yeah, that was very solid play. And also, you know, good, like, 
adaptation to the opponent's play. You know, we saw Sig maybe going for a few Hail Marys, stuff like the long range, but stuff like the anti-air grab. Mm -hmm. So a very patient play was able to overcome in that match. Uh-oh. You, we, this was mentioned earlier. Someone, <laughs> Raph, you had said to me earlier that Jabali might be in this block. So here yeah. we go. It's the man himself. It wouldn't be a t uh, third strike tournament if Jabali didn't show up to play. This man <laughs> went to co-op cup and was like, I got the, a win. I beat one person. And his team, <laughs> his team did win a, a set. So I was just, I'm impressed. That man said he learned so much going to Japan just for the little bit he was there and how much he got to play third strike. He learned a lot. So I want to see what he applied over there. Because, I mean, Jabali gets memed on, sure, mm -hmm. but he ain't half bad. All yeah, right? Jabali I'll is a, a, a solid bit, I'll player, give him some props, for sure. All right, I'll give him a little bit of props. I don't know if people are going to shoot me <laughs> for doing so, but like, he can, you know, he can hold his own when he when he needs to. He's just very busy, so he doesn't want, can't do it as much as he wants. But uh, all, all, I ha all I have to say is stream chat right now, I just want you guys to hold, hold, man, hold. Hold on to the Jabateds, okay. But if Jabe anytime Jabali takes a round in this set, I want to see the Jabateds, okay. There keep keep them keep them ready for it. Control C or Control X. Keep them on the clipboard. All right, his opponent bigger bag. We're getting an Oro here. Yeah, Oro's so? a super cool character, and in this matchup, Oro has some useful tools. You can see already standing medium kick. Oh, they're they're button checking. I got too hype. I got too hype. The rare button check. But it's okay. It, it might. It might not actually be Oro. It's hard. I, you wouldn't pick that character like that for a button check. You have to navigate around the screen just to get to him for it. So that is true. Good point. All there right, we are yep. seeing Oro and uh, Super R three. All right, so Super R three, the the uh, the Tengu Stone. Yeah, we got a little bit of Brian F feature Ooh, here, oh, but that was. Mm -hmm. Almost a super damaging situation there. Crouching extra damage, but it didn't work out. Jabali's go oh, going in with Ken, utilizing the Shoto dash. Yeah, just, again, Ken's so good at putting pressure on to avoid Ooh. Oro getting the resources. <laughs> EX jumping in, watching out for those buttons. The anti air nice. with EX, four hits, hard to parry. Yeah, Jabali is looking so aggressive right now, which is a good way to play the matchup. If you let Oro Woo! sit back and spam fireballs and build up meter. <gasps> Almost! I like the effort for the multi-parry on the heavy DP. Yeah, it was a really good attempt, but it didn't quite work out. Jabali, I really like the way that Jabali is using Ken's dash. That's one of Ken's strongest tools. He can like pretty much instantly create a mix-up situation for himself by dashing in. Utilizing the max range sweep as well. Oro can punish okay. that with medium kick. And now we're setting up the stones. Okay. Right. Respect the stones. You know how it goes. Yes. Someone and told me that once. Cross up. Trying to keep the corner positioning. Nothing crazy from it. Got some damage. But now Jabali with two bars. Ooh, no no punish. punish. That's on that. Accidental charge attack there. Nice. Gets the sweep. This is a big opportunity. Good shimmy into the throw. And now just to walk back and oh, forward. So oh good. my god, I love that. Look, brave to hang out in that range, but bigger bag now. We're out of the board. We're evened up here. But if we look at the meter, that tells a big story here. Three meters on Ken is very, very scary, but Jabali's going to need to find a hit here to try to land super. Yeah, he's fishing for it. Just put in pressure, moving in. A lot of sweeps. The EX Hado, and now the corner oh, is blocked. Good block. Necessary block, or else Ken can link into super off that. Nice parry into the punish. Bigger bags pulling stuff out here. But even better parry. We got a situation. Jabali gets wow. the air parry there. Jumps to the corner. No confirm, but the damage is piling on. Yeah, Jabali getting some nice option select parries, but it's going both ways. And here the stones are out. Trades with the wake up DP. Another good block on the overhead, but now you're on a pixel. This is getting dangerous. Oh, small juggle. Is Jabali going to block Ooh. it out? Gets a little hit. The chip Ooh. is adding up. Just repeatedly going low, but the Shoto sweeps. So unfair. Fortunate. That really could have gone either way because if Bigger Bag blocked that, he could have punished the standing medium kick and won the round, but Jabali takes game one. Yeah, keeping it down to the wire. Jabali taking a little bit of damage, keeping it close. We have This is our closest match we've seen so I far. I know. They're putting on a show for us, but I want to see Bigger Bag bring this back and take it to game three. Let's see it. We're seeing, you know, some good fundamentals for sure, especially the defensive play. Uh -huh. I think that's how you have to play Oro against Ken. You're not going to win in those up-close scraps. you got to stand back, utilize Fireball, utilize some of those long-range pokes. I'd love to see that. I'd love to see the roundhouse more. I want to see just Jabali getting tagged 
adding on like the stun from it because it racks it up so well. Nice yeah. parry into the medium kick, getting the juggle at the punish. Yeah. Yes, that is unsafe. Yeah, you're right that one of Oro's advantages is some of his key normals, standing fierce and standing roundhouse both, uh, are heavy normals, so they end up contributing a lot of stun incidentally. That was another amazing parry, right? So I'm on point with it, getting the punishes with it, but Jabali with the back throw into the corner has the bar. That is for Super Art 3. Good blocking on the low. I've been impressed by Bigger Bag's blocking all around. Of course, I jinx it. He does get hit by the overhead, but Jabali not ready for the super link there. Right. Jabali getting the damage in, but here comes the roundhouses. Doesn't want to use the stones. Wants to get that one little oh, last nervous. hit. You just see the rat roundhouse mash. Uh-oh. What's the finale? Going to be a little bit of chip? Super! Wasser, no! Couldn't get a parry on. Yeah. Even and if it wasn't the first hit going through as fast as that is. Could have maybe jumped up or even gone for the, right. EX, the EX reversal. And worth noting, Oro has a double jump, so he can float up there for a long time. But Jabali's on match point now. Nice. Okay. Okay, we're gonna Once put again, the, back on. The, the crouching damage for Oro is a huge boon. Good block on the fierce there from Jabali. Just pre this is the classic pressure string. Add up that chip. Another good block. These guys aren't getting opened up by these overheads. We'll stay on top of it, but now Jabali with the corner. There's that pressure. Ooh. Trying to get a throw. The escape from bigger back. We're trading places. You can see how hard they are fighting to keep the corner. And that's the thing about Oro, too, is that all his throws reverse sides. So you can see now he's given up the corner, but it's probably not going to matter. I don't want to jinx it, though. Gotta be careful with the meter here. Opportunity for Jabali to bring this back, even if he's at chip territory. Yeah, Fireball is a factor. Oro EX Fireball is a very annoying move. That was crazy. He could have died right there when Jabali dashed forward. I was scared. I don't know if the even Jabali wanted that dash. Hard to say, but at least not bigger back. Still alive here. The and parry, though. Full super for Oro, which can be hugely impactful. If he can get, like, a close medium punch or something, he can deal, you know, 50% or so with the combo with super. But we're just going for the meaty setup. Yeah, that's safe against DP. They do get hit by the stones. But he went for the five stones, which drains the meter faster. So he's not going to get that much uptime. Oh, a lot of spooky double dashes Ooh, to parry. But Jabali going wow. for the throw gets punished. And that's so much huge damage. Bigger Bag has been fighting these standing parries so consistently. Yeah. And yeah. getting that big damage on the medium into the hit grab. That just does so much. Yeah, that this defensive play style, he's letting Jabali come to him, forcing Jabali to make the first move, and uh, definitely got those parries ready to deal. Oh, 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 oh. Absolutely no respect at all going to Chun Li. I mean, listen, I respect it. I respect it. We're not picking no Yuns here, so it's Chun's and Ken's on Jabali's side. And there's the pressure. You can use a Kazan show, and you're seeing a shift in the dynamic, pick a different character. Throwing off Bigger Bag has taken over half life. Yeah, and Bigger Bag's strategy has been to, you know, stand back, wait for the approach, utilize those long range pokes, but you know who else has long range pokes? What's what the weather what, what is this? No, didn't get the parry on the last hit and ate a chunk of damage. It's gonna be a perfect yeah. off that character swap. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I think we've all had that experience where we try to get that last hit parry to get a more optimal punish and and we've all tried to do no moment 37. <laughs> it ain't easy. <laughs> if you ever run up against Justin Wong on Fight Cade, he's yeah. going to try to do it to you. <laughs> all right, so Jabali just, again, happy to sit back. Has the bar. Yeah, corner positioning as well. Trying to get a super out here to get that big damage in life with the dash up throw from Bigger Bag. Put it shut in the corner. Woo. Yeah, crouching medium kick. A very solid poke from Oro. And got the meter as well, but I would have to guess that Bigger Bag is going to attempt to win the round without spending meter. That would be the ideal situation, but you might not have a choice. Oh, back down, back roundhouse. Oh, oh the block again. On but is it going to hit this time? There's the parry, there's the punish. Oh, and not choosing to do the Tengu Stone punish. Just gets a short one, and now using the Tengu Stone. Perhaps Chill, a though, that should be enough. Too little, too late. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I have to imagine that Bigger Bag uh, had a drop on that medium punch because you can do stuff like standing medium punch into Tengu Stones and get a juggle. Might have been able to kill, but Jabali, look at Jabali, he's already out of there. Where? I did not know he could move that quick. Jabali took the dub and is walking away, <laughs> but we're going to take this dub and send you guys to an ad break, I believe. But don't go anywhere because we got a lot more Third Strike action coming right up. Whoa, 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 whoa. You still here, man? You don't have to do this by yourself anymore. Yeah, we've been looking for you everywhere. They'll handle the ads. Let's go see the rest of Chicago.
Y'all make sure to head over to the Combo Breaker shop right now and check out all the amazing merch from shirts to hats and more in store. Get it today. Ready? Street Fighter 6. Fight. <laughs> Six. Welcome to the Chipotle Challenger Series featuring Street Fighter 6. Grab a friend and play against the best for a chance to win over $30,000 in prizes. Free Chipotle for a year and a pay trip to Evo. Sign up today at ChipotleChallengerSeries.com. Red Bull gives you wings. Mortal Kombat 1 ushers in a new era of the iconic franchise with a new fighting system, new game modes, and fatalities. Discover a reborn Mortal Kombat universe created by the fire god Liu Kang, featuring reimagined versions of the iconic characters as they've never been seen before. Sign up via the QR code or at the website on the screen for a chance to join the upcoming Mortal Kombat 1 online stress test. Mortal Kombat 1 will be available on September 19th. Pre-order your copy today. Combo Breaker is brought to you in part by Hitbox Arcade. Take control with improved performance, accuracy, and speed. Grab one today. All right. Welcome back to Combo Breaker. We have some more Third Strike Pools action coming at you live here from the wonderful Schaumburg, Illinois, right outside of Chicago, in Chicagoland area. <laughs> that, that, is, that is what people call it. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, you live in Chicago, so you must be right by uh, Combo Breaker. And I'm like, well, it's a bit yeah, of a drive. Think, yeah. I mean, same thing with Houston, just big cities. But we have a big match here. It's Con Con McCon versus Venom 7. Venom. The That's a good beer. ass name. And we got, yeah, we got the uh, the violent Ken with the uh, bleach blonde hair. Yeah. The normal Ken. And these characters, these players are both looking violent. Nice, confirmed, short jab, short. There's that picture of, like, Woo! you know what kind of Ken player you're going to get by what uh, color the they color pick a character. Like, and it's always the monsters, the fiends, that pick this color Ken. The color can definitely tell you a lot. There's those single hit confirmed, crouching medium kick into super. What's the setup going to be? Does it matter? Nothing. We're, We're getting hit by the cut. jab DP. Big jump in. Nothing from it, though. Although Khan Kama Khan keeping it even here. Has to watch out with these oh, fireballs to see what happens. Another nice confirmed. Yeah, this is another one of those matchups where meter economy is so important. And you can Ooh. see whenever these players get a chance, they're whiffing those strongs to get more meter. But Khan Khan on just a little bit. Stone Dream, but there's the sweep. A little dangerous there, but Venom felt great about it. Takes that quick first game, and now we're gonna go to a game two, or probably, you know, that's the danger. I'm just like, that break was longer than <laughs> this match is gonna <laughs> no. be, just for how long. We could probably get three matches <laughs> for how long a, that little ad break is. That's just third strike. Uh, yeah, these players, they're definitely both looking crispy. I mean, Ken, similar to Chun, is one of those characters where a lot of his strength comes from his super, and they are both 
very effectively hit confirming into super, which is an essential skill if you're going to be a Ken player. And already just that pressure from Zenim, like saying, I could get started early, get the meter Woo! first, but the back throw into that corner. That's a nice little trick you can do in footsies. If you see a whiff like that crouching medium punch, dash up throw, that's your opportunity. People tend to block after they whiff a normal. Oh, single parry! Almost, almost had the red parry, crouch, medium kick, fireball, but then I'm on match point already. I mean, like you were saying, why is this going so fast? I want to see more. You want to see more, but it's just a one-player game right now. Zenim has the round lead, has a little bit of bar, gets jumped in on okay, the pressure from Kong nice. Kong Kong, the dashes, just to keep it in the corner, but it's so hard. With EX Tatsu in the air, able to escape these bad situations, and right now, the lows are paying off. Yeah, like we said, you know, it's possible to hit confirm crouching medium kick to into super with Ken, but you usually need some kind of signal, like whether you see the opponent start up an attack. Now you're stuck in the Oh no hit confirm off the crouch strong. Punch. Yeah, that's a necessary punish. Alright, Venom taking that 2-0 yeah, pretty looking, quickly. Looking very, very strong there. I mean they they both look strong, but I think that, you know, that uh, violent Ken power up, the mm -hmm. the alternate costume. You know, I've been playing Yurian. Everyone says that if someone picks Red Yurian, then they're like a psycho. Like Red Aww. Red Yurians play like unhinged. I'm always a big fan of the Blue Yurians. Yeah, Blue Yurians got, like, got like the sauce though. Those are the <laughs> kind of players that just will put the most wicked setups on top of you. And you I'm I'm the worst because that. I play default colors. I like every, <laughs> I play light light punch color. I'm always light punch. I just think it always looks the best. Hey, keeping it classic, never anything yeah, wrong you with got that. To. All right, you know, you're wearing default outfits in the <laughs> games that have like a hundred different things. <laughs> if you open up my closet in real life too, I just have like a bunch of identical like black t-shirts. <laughs> I'm like a cartoon character. Oh, yeah. I know, so I, I'm the most boring person alive. But at nah, least the players, nah, the players are bringing the swag. Yeah, they're <laughs> putting on some fun matches and they're showing off right here. I, I like that, that muscle fish sticker. Do you see that? What yeah, is, from The Simpsons. That? Yeah, the oh, fighting hellfish. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. I'm so out of the loop here. And they got the frosty fausting yeah, sticker. Yeah, you see that badge on there, all these little things. Decorating the CRT so you know. <laughs> these, these CRTs are beefy, and I feel like a lot of people don't know that this. we are actually running uh, Third Strike. Like everything on the Jazzy Circuit, it's run on real hardware. So we got the uh, we got the, the zero lag CRTs and the, the fat arcade boards. That's right. We got... Speaking of fat, is Hugo back up again this time from Logan Arcade's The Sylvester? Yeah, up so. Ultimate Source Virus 916. So, like I mentioned, the Chicago Third Strike scene very serious, and Logan Arcade is like the mecca of Chicago Third Strike. All the Logan Arcade players that I've ever fought are insanely good. <laughs> the, I've been there one or two times just to play, and it, it's been so free. I'm getting double perfected out there, so. You can't swat, you're like, dang, y'all are right here in my Woo! backyard. There is a off the wall. Break the back, make him humble. In the corner you are. Virus has to try to find his way out. Let's be careful though. Guess the a good option for the escape. We got another Gigas Breaker. Hugo is. I want to see one this time. We didn't get to see Gigas Breaker before, but I believe he's moving his way into four off the wall Woo! again. Let's get that juggle instead. It's going to be happy to get a little bit of damage. Yeah, saving the meter there. Not going for ex. Oh, Perry, oh! Perry, Perry! But the crouching heavy is not going to be the answer. Uh -huh. I think that must have been uh, missed 360 or something, but you got a block here. Easy command There's grab. There's the 360. Splats. All the items in the background jumping. Yep, Hugo's, Hugo's playpen. Man's happy to leave all his toys and that big old slab of meat just hanging out. Virus, I have to say, is looking a little bit under pressure here. That is an incredible punish on the sweep. That was so clean. Oh, no oh, off for Gigas Breaker. Ein, toy, dry, and that's so much oh life gone. Oh my Ooh. god, put it away. Crouching medium, good pair on the crouching medium kick, though. This is a tall hill to climb, but it's definitely possible. Opportunity, Woo. there's that crowd. Escape. What's out for the wake of Perry? The chip is not going to really be a problem, but oh, yeah, that low short is. Crouching light kick. The Sylvester. This is some very impressive play. Something I really noticed is like there's almost no missed punishes other than other than the one dolphin dive. But like we've seen some people earlier having trouble with capitalizing on the opponent's mistakes. But the Sylvester is not letting anything go by. Again, yeah, I talked about it earlier where Hugos are going to be Perry machines at the yeah. high low because they know people are going to be throwing out multi-hit moves, trying to take advantage of this man being twice as tall as anybody yeah. else just about. 
<laughs> yeah, it's it's like a common thing in Street Fighter games that grappler characters, they kind of want to let you hit them and then they want to, you know, 360 you. So characters like Zangief, he'll oftentimes take a hit from a jump in to land 360. Hugo's like that, but with, with parry. Oh, speaking of that. Ooh, oh, the dash forward. There's the moonsault. And then oh, we get the meat, no. meat, meat squash. Get your meat squashed into that corner. The virus is under hard pressure. Yeah, this is looking so scary. And Sylvester has such a lead that this next round is going to start with a full meter. Wait, is Ken, why does Ken have super art one? Listen, I'm not going to question it. Let's just keep moving. Don't need to talk about it. Not at all. Oh, you <laughs> thought. You thought you had a chance to grab, get your back broken, get splatted. Now, ain't so no way. Ain't no way. Ooh, standing back, letting the sweep whip. Uh, and three, once four. again. Oh, and the punish too drops the finisher there, but showing off for us today. Yeah, now it just instantly became clear what the missed punish was earlier, going for the falling body splash after air to air parry. Back breaker, no escape from there, and the Sylvester with the two with the Hugo, very nice. Yeah, I mean, like I was saying, man, these Logan players, they're serious. They do not come to play, so very impressive Hugo play. Yeah, they clocked in and they clocked out Virus, but it's all good. This is double elimination, as you all know. We've got of a nice course. little bracket. People are going through it. I have to see it now. People are showing up in the crowd. They're getting knocked out of the tournament, so now they're sitting <laughs> yeah. down so I can watch some of this great third strike. Uh, I think I might know this. Is this Endgamer on the left side here? We'll see. But, yeah, it's definitely true that the longer the day goes on, the more people are sitting down as well. That's <laughs> People want to enjoy the matches after being on their feet all day. Yeah, that's why I love doing commentary. I always get, we always get to <laughs> a the guaranteed. perfect seat. Yeah. We're set up and we're comfy. I will say that's one of the things that has really improved with tournaments over the years. I feel like when I first started going to tournaments, I could like never find a chair. Mm -hmm. But now they, they do a really good job of like providing ample seating for uh, everyone who wants to spectate. Yeah, it's just so nice. So I'm pretty sure a player one side, this is Endgamer, who is a very solid Chun-Li player. Okay. Not familiar with player two side just yet, but we'll have to see. Look at that match in a moment here at Combo Breaker 2023. It's been a great weekend so far. We're just getting started. Here's our matches. We're seeing Endgamer 3K versus Dark Light. Okay. All right, Chun versus Makoto. This is such an exciting matchup some of the time. It, it kind of depends, but, you know, like, if Makoto can get things started, it can be so dangerous. And Super Art 1 Makoto as yeah. well. I like, I like the set you said. It's hard to keep Chun and getting a Karakusa on her to set things up. So going for yeah. something a little. Maybe easier to Whoa. land, but it's going to be oh, tough because the so stop ready. sign keep her fr keep Makoto from moving in. Uh, yeah, just super jump out of the corner. What a what an escape! Even trading in the air so hard to approach as that meter starts coming up, and now Endgamer is going to be able to yeah. hold it down and just fish for these low forwards. Yeah, not even worrying too much about the the hit confirm into super. I mean, you may as well just save the meter for next round at this point. Oh, looking to have too soon, and it's going to make quick work out of Darklight if they're not careful with it. Darklight struggling to move forward. There's Ooh, a yeah, free that punish is punishable. There. Didn't want to go for the meter yet and woke up, though. I like that. You do not want Makoto bullying okay. you. Neutral. Big opportunity. Oh, oh. misses the follow-up. Yeah, I'm curious if Darklight would have wanted to go for super there. Oh, there's the confirm. There's going to be a mix-up after this, too. Gets the knockdown all the way to the corner. Right, light hits a little bit for Dark Light. Has the super art ready yeah, on deck, but Dark Light needs to find a way to use this meter. Oh, Endgamer probably going for lightning legs there, I think. Oh, and the sweep. Yeah. Such a great button from Chun Li. Endgamer taking that first game. Pretty yeah, a well. little bit of spaghetti falling out of both players' pockets there, but Endgamer, like I said, a pretty solid player, able to utilize those pokes, able to, you know, hey, hey, keep yep. the opponent away. It's so hard to deal with, especially when you're Makoto, right? You have no walk speed. You rely on those dashes yeah. to move forward. Even jumping in the air is problematic. So it's just like you have to be careful because dashing in, not going to work out. But instead, we're backing off Makoto. We're going for Denjin Ryu. Denjin Ryu. You know, we went from one character who is known for stealing rounds to another. Yeah, we got this great version of, of Ryu here. But it's not going to be easy again because those normals from Chun. It's yeah. going to be able to add up, and it's so hard. 
to stop Chun from building up Bar, already having a super art almost ready to go. Yeah, Chun Li, she's got a lot of good moves, but one of her most powerful moves is actually Normal Throw. Chun Normal Throw is very good, and you can see Endgamer using it to try to control the screen and get corner positioning, but this is scary. That's Perry. A lot of stun on deck. Opportunity yeah, with the Dark Light can get one or two more hits. There it is. This is huge for Ryu. That's one of his biggest strengths, is getting massive damage and stun. Denjin helps a lot with that. It's so strange, it's like third strike, stun doesn't go down slow. It no. doesn't go down fast. It, it takes its time. Yeah. And you saw the overhead, how much stun that dealt. So now yeah. Darklight trying to turn this around, almost has another Denjin ready to go, but has to be careful with Super Art 1 available, or Super Art 2 for Ooh. Chun. She can get out a lot of or pressure. Opportunity. Fail got? confirmed. This is huge. Dark yes. Kick, but oh, no a Tatsu. Little far there for the Tatsu. Man, where was this in game number one? You saw Makoto <laughs> not work out at all, so Darklight switching it up and it's working out so well. Yeah, the crouching medium kick into whiff light Tatsu, it can be an effective strategy, but uh, unfortunately a little close there, put himself in the corner, but there! Wait a minute, this is scary, what are you gonna do? Nice double parry from Endgamer, but that's the thing, when you're stuck there parrying multiple hits, that gives Ryu an opportunity to come up and pressure, so Darklight turning things around in a big way. Yeah, big shift. It's just like night and day from when we saw the Makoto, but again, it's a dangerous character to play mm. against Chun Li, who has a lot of tools to get around fireballs. But Dark Light's setting it up really well. You're seeing like short charges of tension. Yeah. You're seeing just like nothing from a max distance, just making sure up close personal, making it a good string. Game number three here between these two to see who stays in the winner's side. There's a first grab, first strike. Woo! Nice parry, but that was unfortunate. The awkward, you know, Chun crouching hitbox. She can duck some stuff. All right, that's playing, okay. playing footsies behind the table. The classic. Overhead, overhead. Neutral jump, though. Dark Light gets the parry. Yeah. Big damage, and that's so much stun. Huge and corner carry as well. This Dirt. is getting a little scary, though, because Endgamer's about to get one meter. One meter would pretty much end the round, but it's not going to happen. The big meaty on the Fierce and Dark Light now match point after losing handily in the first game between I, these two. I know. I'm amazed at how quickly the momentum has turned, but we can't forget the momentum of Chun-Li Super. A decisive move, but Endgamer has had a couple key misses on the Super that have gotten him killed. So, Yeah, but now playing patient from that range with a little bit of a life lead. Knowing that Dark Light ooh, it's like it's the dash, tries to get another one. Yeah, Chun Jab, so good for checking these dashes that people are going to try to do to close the gap. Two full meters, you're going to have to find an opportunity to use them. Oh, dangerous sweep, but the Tatsu gets punished. Chun with the corner advantage to block in the overhead. Dark Light, it's Denshin very scary. ready to go. Yeah, any hit here from Ryu could potentially be round ending because of the threat of Denjin. Oh, no whiff hey, punish hey. on the sweep. We're just whiffing sweep. Let's go. Throw into the corner. Oh, oh what a punish. But uses the X, though. I don't know. It's a little tricky now because now you're going to need to land another hit legit if you want to take the round. Now Chip becoming a factor. Let's go, Justin. <laughs> Come on, bro. Don't make me look stupid. You got to do the super. They got to wants to hold on for the next round. Doesn't want to give it up. Yeah, end gamer trying to hold that meter for dear life. There it is. Okay. Yeah, the close roundhouse. I just wanted to make sure. Right? Double I, Luigi, I last game, oh, last round. Both on full meter, too. Could this be any closer? So down to the wire. No upper, no chance. Didn't go for the super on the whip yeah, punish. Yeah, Chun-Li can punish the sweep with super not going for it. Speaking of sweep, he's the overhead. Oh, and there, there we it go. is. Life and now there's a 50-50 potential here. Instant overhead versus crouching medium kick. Just chooses to go for a shimmy instead. Tatsu out, but gets throw punished. One more low forward Woo! into Super, can Woo! finish the job. Darklight has Woo! to be extra careful. Gonna need like one more hit to make Chip a factor as well. Oh, oh now it's now. getting really dangerous. Say it again. Let's go, Justin. I don't want to jinx it, though. Endgamer. Endgamer, you're so solid. Why would you? Oh, my God. I would have done Super a hundred times by now. Who <laughs> big hit. And oh, the trade. trade. Okay, okay, okay. Anime finish. Oh, my gosh. Doesn't want to doesn't want to be a high fight clip. Okay? <laughs> yeah, Denied I mean, it. Just like you know what, I'm not trying to be on Twitter. And I get actually blown up. I We're understand good. that like that's like the worst thing that can happen to you is like you go, <laughs> especially when it's last game, last round with Ryu having a full meter. I understand, you know, just win the old fashioned way, <laughs> get dapped up by your homeboys. I mean, like if. if <laughs>
<laughs> if you do Chun Li Super and you get buried, everyone's probably turning, pretending they don't know you. Yeah, I understand. you're just like. <laughs> gotta be a don't wanna be a Twitch clip, and it's all good. We get a lot more opportunities for those here as we're setting up for our next match. Is that is that a ooh a Dudley stick? Do you think I you're like that? Dudley? Okay. I hope so. You don't just plaster a character from Third Strike with your Third Strike art on your stick, and you don't want to represent them. You would, you would certainly think. I know there's a mix-ups, and I, it happens. Yeah, it's like but people I got who <laughs> people who have like Ryu fan one, two, three, and then they like play Chun. Yeah. Finally, get to see potentially a Dudley here. We're getting our yeah. It is kind of surprising. We've seen you know most of the top tiers of the game represented uh -huh. so far, but no Yurian yet. No or Dudley. Yun. There's not been a Yun. That's been oh okay. yeah, true. Actually, no Yun. A lot of people. It, it takes a certain kind of player to want to put in that work to yeah. to, to, to to get those Ganijins and just really blow people up. So everyone's happy with the Ken and the Chun Li. The last little less technical. It it, fe it definitely feels like playing Fight Cage. You know, Fight Cage. You see a lot of Chuns. You see a lot of Shotos. So we got oh another Logan Arcade player Silent Impact with the with the Dudley stick and with the Dudley character selection and it looks like we're gonna see Corkscrew Blow as the super of choice. I like it. Jamarvelous on the left side, traditional Chun Super Art Two. Let's begin as Dudley's gonna have to work his way forward. I think Silent Impact's gonna be confident to just slowly encroach. So it's, it's commonly said that one of Dudley's big downsides is he's weak to low pokes. All his long-range moves, like Fierce, Forward Fierce, uh, leave him vulnerable to moves like Chun-Li Crouching Medium Kick. And we're getting the, the repeated throws. And the Those corner. throws effective. Nice parry into the roundhouse. Super hard to jump in against Chun-Li. The parry there, yeah. standing light punch or standing roundhouse. Parry nice, again. Yeah. And there's oh, the super confirm wow. from John. Marvelous. Super, super clean confirm. Overhead? Yeah. And oh then the stop gosh. sign. Just quit it. All these buttons that um, Dudley's going to want to try to press wow. to swat things out and try to make it happen. But back rap fierce yeah. from Chun, just so good at just shutting it down. And you can kind of see, you know, that, that angle for Dudley is hard to deal with. That low medium kick angle. And he's been trying to utilize Dudley's uh, powerful jump, but gets the parry instead. So yeah, jump is generally Dudley's go-to method of dealing with pokes like that, but Jamarvelous has done a great job of parrying the jump-ins. Gets a throw too. One more of these throws can finish the job, and now with Chip, Chip gonna becoming just, a yeah. factor, yeah. That was do or die. Like, the low, medium into the super would have been just enough to get it there, so yeah. it's tough for Silent Impact, who's just, it's hard struggling to just approach Chun-Li and match her in damage when she's able to just keep you out with these great buttons. Yeah, Chun-Li, she's just this walking wall of normals. The crouch medium kick, the crouch heavy kick, the stand heavy punch, but Dudley, he's so momentum-based. If he can get going, he can create a lot of opportunities, but that can be the hard part against Chun. And with the throw here, we're gonna see an option. Drops the meaty, and not gonna get thrown in the corner, which is super scary as well. This room for Jamarvelous okay. to move, but gets a launch into a juggle. It is also worth noting that in this matchup, Dudley can do crazy juggles off sweep. That's one of the fun things about fighting Chun as Dudley. Let's see if they oh. get that opportunity. There's the jumping, getting swept out, and now have to respect this. Chun Li has a bar on I, the next I, hit. I feel like Silent Impact is making some great adaptations. There's the the counter. A chip? Going for chip as well. Go Look at that parry. That was ridiculous. Didn't go into super off the parry though. No, saving it right now. Super would finish the job. Yes, I don't indeed. want Silent Impact to be a little greedy this time, or else it could spell badly for them. And oh. that's gonna finish it for Jamar. Who's gonna steal that round back? As Silent Impact tried to get cute with it, but didn't know who they were up against. Can I just point out that Corkscrew Blow is a one-frame move? So you either have one frame timing to parry it after the flash, or like Chun-Li, you have to be parrying before the flash to have a, a reasonable amount of timing. Crazy. Someone can let me know, is it actually possible to parry it after the flash? Maybe it's not. I don't Regardless, think so. no. incredible that Jamarvelous got that parry. I mean, he, he knew what Silent Impact was about. There's a big throw. Two bars here for Chun-Li. Yeah, we can see another Chun-Li hitbox issue. You know, the forward fierce from Dudley just whiffs right over her crouching. Right. Ooh, overhead, oh, but a drop. I think that was an attempt oh, to link into super, perhaps. A little tough. Big whiffs on these crouching Chun-Li. Two meters for jump. both players. Boom. That's huge. Are we going to go for more chip? No, okay. no, no. I Just like mix that. it up. The 50-50. Yeah. Throw the rose. Have that meaty. Go for that low light now. kick. And now. This is so scary, though. Chun Ooh. with two meters. Nice. This is huge. 
Big hit the knockdown. 50-50 opportunity. Misses it. Oh, but the link. But it's too far. Wait. No punish. What's gonna eat going so much on? damage. Jamarvelous. Nice combo. That's what I'm talking oh. about. That's what I like to see. Silent Impact take it to game three. The Rose hit so late. Her toe's getting swatted. And then the overhead, the combo into it. Jamarvelous has to be careful with Silent Impact turning it up. Dude, like one, one wrong super from Chun-Li and she ended up taking so much damage. And we got a real match. We got a big time. Silent Impact feeling good about it. The confidence boost. Yeah. Especially considering how game one went is now just has hit the combos, getting the clutch situations, and really I, preventing Jamarvelous from really exerting that Chun-Li game plan. I think in general, Silent Impact made a really good adaptation. I feel like the play is a lot more whoop, patient. Whoop. And look at this, even a parry there on the jab. This, oh, now you went for the hard combo. I respect it. Then a back throw is spooky as Jamarvelous can take advantage of it. Yeah, take empty jump, trying to you know stay safe against Chun. Whoa. And the air parry, look at the footsies. Put that stop sign away. We have the ghost sign is Silent Impact. Shadow, you know, just a shadow of his former self has been just making it work Ooh. and is close to getting it to match point. Oh my god, the jump round has you can see Silent Impact is mixing up the jump and approaches. That's what you have to do in this game. You can't just throw out the same jump ins. We're seeing different timing, different normals to make it so hard for Jamarvelous to defend. Yeah, and that jump round is just a, just a super scumbag jumping. <laughs> yes. Laying down. That's the dive kick. That's one. the it's true crazy. dive kick right there. Oh, oh why you short reach swing it, I'm blow. Nice. Does the oh, the there's the link. link. Oh, the drop. God, the drop. I jinxed it. I'm sorry. And wake up buttons. Oh, oh finds okay. the low. That's a big chance for Jamarvelous, who can try to end this without spending any more bar, but has to be careful. Yeah, there's the target combo off the low from Dudley. Another effective tool when you don't have meter available. Whiffing Fierce, they both just want to go into the last round with some meter, but Ooh. Silent Impact doesn't want to see a last round, wants to stop it right now. What's the plan? What a walk back low forward. Now double match point. Both oh, players here with a lot of God. bar. The energy in the room is unreal right now. People are losing their minds over this match. These players are both looking so strong. The hand away, the far Fierce from Chun. Ooh. But now Silent Impact oh. moving in. But the stop sign though, keeping him at bay just yeah. a little bit longer. Trying to use the short swing blow, but now you're going to be stuck in the corner. Chun going to be working on another super close roundhouse. This is a bad situation, but with nearly three meters on deck, Dudley can definitely bring this back. Has to be careful, though. Oh. Cannot take any singular hit that could lead into super. Oh. The parry, the throw, though. Now chip, chip. Oh, oh wait, wake up, Chun. It's still possible. It's still possible. Good block. Good block from Jamarvelous. That was a necessary block on the low. Man, silent impact. Really was looking good there by the end, but at the end of the day, the solid Chun Li play. Yeah, from Jamarvelous was good. Just again, the threat. All Chun Li needs two bars and a dream, right? <laughs> yeah. She commands so much, and it was so down to the wire, but Jamarvelous yeah. moving on in the winner's side here at Combo Breaker. These matches are crazy good for just being pool play, man. Where else can you go where you're going to see this level of play so early in the tournament, man? Third strike. This is what we like to see. All right. Well, I'd like to see some great ads to help support Combo Breaker in the mini events. So stay tuned for more third strike action after the small break here. You thought that was fire? We're not done yet. Because after this break, more Combo Breaker action is coming right to you. Don't go nowhere. Don't forget to head on over to the Combo Breaker shop to check out all the amazing merch. But don't delay because that merch is going to go quick.
Red Bull gives you wings. Welcome to the Chipotle Challenger Series featuring Street Fighter VI. Grab a friend and play against the best for a chance to win over $30,000 in prizes. Free Chipotle for a year and a paid trip to Evo. Sign up today at ChipotleChallengerSeries.com. Tenno's got you covered with sick, officially licensed Tekken merchandise. It's available now at tenno.gg slash merch. Rushdown Revolt is the hot new platform fighter coming out May 26th. They also announced a Smash Royale mode this week. It's a 1v1 bracket battle royale for six players to rotate through non-stop action and become the last one standing. to pieces again and again and again black dahlia going down i've got a job time to start the party listen up bunnies this is black dahlia available now Mortal Kombat 1 ushers in a new era of the iconic franchise with a new fighting system, game modes, and fatalities. Discover a reborn Mortal Kombat universe created by the fire god Liu Kang, featuring reimagined versions of iconic characters as they've never been seen before. Sign up via the QR code or at the website on the screen for a chance to join the upcoming Mortal Kombat 1 online stress test. There's plenty more Combo Breaker 2023 action coming at you on the way. But first. All right, folks, we're back with more third strike action here at Combo Breaker 2023. <laughs> Looks like we got our players up and ready to go. We'll get started. I think we might have a repeat offender up here. That's right. A first time seeing someone else come up on stage after they've had a big win as we're That's going true. this tournament. And, you know, the, the, this block of pools have been nothing short of stellar. So we'll see who keeps on going here. We could try to make it out to qualify get that free burrito get. courtesy of chipotle that's, <laughs> that's what, what it's really for. about at that's the end what of we're the here day. for every game you make it out you get that burrito <laughs> it, that's it is truly right crazy there. every game every pool and these are three out pools 
So yeah, we got uh, Tech S Neo versus Balls Deep. Okay, more Kent Nears yeah. coming your way right now. But no, but you uh, can never no, be sick of this character. No violent Ken Neon Blonde. Wow, good parry. Oh, red versus purple. I like the color choices here. We're heading down to the subway, which we're seeing a little bit of honest neutral before we start blowing it up with the supers. The cross yeah. up, the parry, the oh, punish though. Unfortunate. No full combo. Yeah, the game really changes once once super meter is available. It becomes entirely different. Wow, fighting back with a crowd strong, Lincoln to super. Right, not going any for any uh, super jump afterwards with that hard knockdown from this uh, super art three. A little light pressure, balls deep, getting tripped, getting tripped up Whoa. though, and it's a big combo. It's gonna put down to a one throw, one hit game. Yeah, nice parry on the overhead. Not even Woo. wow. Content to block, but content to get hit by the wake up EXDP. Said, hold this. No fear here from Tech S Neo. I think the, the hit rate of wake up DPs so far in this pool has been nearly 100%. Yeah, I think one almost got parity, but not enough. Yeah, like the thing is, I feel like when it's in tournament like this, a lot of people think there's no way that they're crazy enough to, uh, you know, go for wake up EXDP, but then they just do it anyway, and they're. It's going to be the single hit into Super. All right, nice. It's going to double dash. This ain't Mario Kart, though. Woo! But the big whiff and then the big whiff. The double whiff spaghetti everywhere all over the floor. Yeah, that might have been an attempted Super there. Wow, what? good punish. Yeah, close oh. fireball, and there's a fail hit confirm. Ah, but you thought you would get that punish a little early. Maybe they try to do a little parry at the end, try to get cute with it. This is not the time to get cute. You got to get serious. Yeah, Ken Super can be a little awkward to punish some of the time. Depends. On block, that is. There's the sweep. Back walk into the low forward. Wow, oh, what's yeah, going but no on? Punish the second time. Ken's landed safely. The throw. Oh, wow. Walk up throw from downtown. Okay, too far away for a sweep. Fierce. Wait, they're both on a pixel no here. No punish. And then ah! the again. You thought it was your turn. That's the same time the XDP and Tech as Neo stealing it back with a pixel in a dream. I uh, know. Both those rounds really could have gone either way. Both players, you know, a bit of execution errors, perhaps. A bit of uh, some hard reads happening, let's just say. But, uh, you know, that's what pressure can do to you sometimes. We're getting serious here. That's right. You got to make these opportunities work for you as we're going to keep going with this Ken Mirror. We're going to see what happens here. I want to see an uppercut be punished. I, we're seeing him block now. We're seeing him block now. Yeah. But I want to see someone now go to the next level. Let's do it. Yeah, it can be hard for sure. Okay, jump in. This is the cross up. There's the back throw in that corner. But the wake up parry, okay. that's a great option. Beating out Oof. any media option with the wake up blow parry. Yeah, the crouching damage on Ken target combo. It does so much. But there's whip parry. It's fine. Don't sweat it. Standing back, both players got meter on deck. Whoa, there's a punish on sweep with far roundhouse. You have the meter on both players too, so going for a <gasps> sweep is super dangerous. We can see a punish here. Oh, ah, didn't get the no last confirm. hit. Okay. Yeah, being a little greedy trying to save the meter. Ooh, oh, 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 no, Chip is on the table to jump. The dashboard, watch out for EXDP. Instead, wow. it's no parry on the EX Fireball. Tech has Neo on match point all of a sudden. Things are happening before our eyes. Ooh, a little, oh, a little bit of, a little bit of footsies here. A little bit of walk back. We're, we're in though. Time for uh, footsies over. That's not gonna work. We're gonna see light punish. Drops it. Trying to go for hey, the big damage. Hey, we saw it. Block DP. Okay, there we go. There we go. The double DP. So much damage on that. Ball's deep. Oh. Finally feeling good about it, but messes up the combo. And then you thought you could punish me. I love holding on to that. <laughs> you thought, oh my god, DP into super off the crouch medium kick. And what's the setup? Just going for walk up throw gets DP'd for your troubles. And there's an the overhead down to a pixel. Gotta watch out though. All this bar ah! on the side of Tech S Neo. Have to be careful. Don't get uppercut. Just anything will kill. Anything will kill, please. <sighs> Again, uh, what's the hits? mix? Anything? Oh yeah, trying. Definitely, we're trying to bait the wake up DP. What's happening before oh, my no. eyes? The jump in the jump medium, and then the Tech S Neo with no life takes the set two to zero. Ball deep goes to the losers, and that was just. Does anything hurt more than having your opponent at a pixel for so long? and yet not being able to close it out. How unfortunate. And that's so many games that that happened. That's, un yeah, that's, that's, 
that's one that you go to losers and you're just feeling like yeah, ah. yeah. There's in this situation, there's nothing you can do but hold that. That's yeah. all you can do. Hold the L. Take a sip of water. Try to bounce back. Yeah. But, you know, it's it's how it is. Hit him with the FGC head nod. I understand. I see <laughs> what just happened. Oh boy, that was. Wild. We I might all be getting a little bit delirious here. We're late in the day, but this is only day one. I'm losing my voice. I'm shouting. It's crazy. You man. can't help with their strike, all right? You There's cannot not help. You really to have get loud and wild with it. You really have no choice Ooh. but to get caught up in the excitement. There's that new combo breaker backpack. I scored one myself. Oh, Super man. nice. I should pick one up. I, I did the test. I have a 17 inch laptop, and I was like, if this fits, we're keeping this. Uh, it yeah. went in smooth as butter. I, I was like. Got it, guaranteed. I wonder if my stick can fit. Maybe not. It's that's the tough part. Yeah, I have a, I have a, something a lot smaller, so it fits no problem. But that's just a taste of like the sweet merch that is available here at Combo Breaker. I know. I see you got the, online. you got the shirt. I need to get the, uh, the flannel. It's a hooded flannel. I was like, yeah. how often am I gonna wear this living in Texas? But it's when the time comes for it. And see, here in Chicago, I can wear it nine months out of the year, so I better buy it. But we got we got your boy coming back up here, Texas, representing on the shirt. And then we got the young gun, his opponent. Yeah. I we, like seeing, like, the new new gen playing the old gen. I know. Boomers like me, I'm, <laughs> I feel like I'm the only people qualify. still left this playing. Is the, mm, what's oh, that? Sorry, sorry. This was a qualify. I just got word from ah, that. Ah, okay. So, so winner. Yeah. I mean, winner is getting the burrito ultimate time. prize. <laughs> yeah, it's this is the burrito time. match. Yeah. <laughs> So we have literally one of the most storied players here with Tommy Two Step, and then we got the Young Gun, his opponent here. This is for for a burrito, right? For the bur I, you know what you know what I really want to see. I want to walk up to a setup and see two of the burrito cards down. You know what I mean? It's like when you walk around and you see just like two bills uh -huh. on the setup. You're like, someone's having a money match. We I want to see the burrito match. Burrito yeah. match, Chipotle challenge. Let's do it. How many how many commentary blocks do I have to do before everyone starts complaining in chat? All he talks about is burritos. Guys, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten since breakfast. <laughs> I got burritos on the mind. All right, so oh, it's denim. I told somehow uh, I missed before when denim was on that it's a uh, a young person, not like uh, us old timers. Not at all. But is Tommy's old man reactions gonna be enough to deal with the youngin? I, mean, I say that, but he's probably, the, you know, he might be older than he looks. I can't say the vi the violent Ken man, that hairstyle. You know he's thinking about doing some grime. It's always going to be tricky, though. It's kind of matched up. Oh, the jump and parry in. Tommy's parries have been just almost immaculate. Has really not dropped any situation. The only opponent presses. Whoa, my God, the jungle. Oh. This is insane right now. Has the meter for super. Oh. The win condition is available for Tommy. But okay, here This comes is a Denim. huge opportunity. Good blocks. Good patience. Oh, no confirm off the crowd strong. That's a very tricky hit confirm. Nice dash. Oh, oh. Great block. Oh. EX gets blown up. Another jungle. jungle and there's jump. We got those! Let's go! Justin! Jump! Oh, 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 that's not enough! Low shorts. Didn't get a big damage. I don't know what to say. Though. No super. Super's going to come out. The oh, oh, my God. Oh, that is oh, Crackle's wild. <laughs> what? That was the greatest <laughs> round. Ain't no way. This kid probably wasn't even alive. <laughs> I know. Number 37 happened. Dude, so many of those juggles are happening. Okay, you got the, the awkward super anti-air situation. Okay. Fighting it out with the roundhouse. That's going to be a full wow. confirm. That Amazing was insane. from Tommy. Yeah, you're okay, not going to okay. be able to parry all that lightning legs. That's tough. Ho, 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 ho. Turning it right around, Tommy said, not today. Yeah. I know, and the, the recovery after getting your super parried. I mean, pretty impressive here from Tommy. <laughs> All right, there's oh, the yeah, carrot throw. throw. You hear her go high. Want to get the grab with the up Tatsu. Okay. Anti-throw option. Interesting. Yeah, crouch medium. Oh, but there's the close roundhouse super setup with the super jump. Cancel and baits the wake up DP. I feel like Denim has really met their match here because, you know, we're talking about this violent Ken playstyle getting thrown into the corner to close it out. You know, go... Th this this crazy go nuts all out offense play style. I feel like Tommy is the perfect player to counter that. Yeah, and he's so really solid, job. so defensive. And it was because Tommy turned it up too. He, after he got that, that yeah. lost that first round, he said, "Hold up, you just turned me into a Twitch clip. I gotta, <laughs> I, I gotta, I gotta bring it back to you." And he's doing it in spades. I know it's crazy. Yeah, 
guys, clip, can, can we just say clip that? I know it's too late, <laughs> but someone better clip that, man. Wow, nice parry, too, on the crowd strong. Oh, Ooh, speaking okay. of parries, though, bringing it back around. Right back at you. But that's where the Chun Kara throw comes in. So, okay, yeah. Tommy's like, okay, parries, you're going to come out and wake up. I'm going to get these free grabs. And what a life lead again is Tommy's just yeah. taking his time. It only takes a couple standing fierces from Chun, and it's like, where did my life bar go, man? Good wow, okay. nice footsies with the far medium kick. Oh, the sweep, but gets out of the corner with it. Woo! Safe pressure. Wow, no punish on that parry. Fears there. Nice dash out. Every time uh, Denim goes for a cross up. Oh, what the what punish? Wake up, forward roundhouse. Super's gonna block. Wait! Oh, got caught. Tommy oh. getting a little froggy there. Wake up, EX, SBK. Okay, it's gonna be match point for Tommy. All right. It's soon to be. Time to win. Can Tommy make it count? Yeah, the grab. meter, the the meter bar, differential yeah. is a nightmare here. With no supers for Ken, it's really hard to put away these rounds. Tommy going for yeah. the normal, standing perfectly still. Oh, gets the parry, yeah. gets the punish, and now it's a one-touch game. Oh, nice. the uppercut, though. With gets it by Tatsu. Dash in. This is a big pressure Ooh, from Denim. That would have been a huge opportunity. What a parry. Holy. Tommy hit the parry. He took like three quarters of one step forward and then hit close roundhouse into super. But hey, you know, Venom still going to be fighting in loser's bracket and definitely accomplished something impressive up here on stage. Yeah, okay. We see you with the two steps. Good, good play there, Tommy. You get your Chipotle burrito, but your opponent got the super parry. You can't take that away from him. No, not at all. <laughs> But, you know, Tommy doing it again, getting styled on a little bit, and that's okay because he made it count when it – he made it when it count, and yeah. he gets to keep moving on there. The, so the we'll mental see later recovery. on. Yeah. After all that, it's like, all right, you, everyone gets one. Everyone gets one. <laughs> Not me. I never got one. <laughs> How much more do I have to play this game before I can land one of those, man? It's hard. You got to already be pressing forward. I can't see that coming. That was even with a fireball behind it. It was, like That yeah. was the layers, just to make it almost impossible to, to escape from, but then I found a way. Uh, yeah, if, it, it, it can be weird. Like, I, I, w I had to record for a video, I had to record, like, fireball into super, and it's one of those things where the spacing, you know, like, if the fireball hits at the same time as one of the super hits, you'll just auto-parry it. Yeah. But if it's in between the gaps, sometimes you have to, like, do extra parries. So, yeah, it's very deceptive. All right, so another match coming up here on deck. Ah, we got the the, Des the Detroit Institute of Art t-shirt, I see. <laughs> Looking artistic out here. Man, how are you going to top that last match, though? We're going to see it with King. Hey, it's our first period of the night. All right, going up against, you know, the, the, the young karate phenom with uh, Makoto. And we're going to see a lot of that low medium kick from uh, from Makoto. Woo. How can Kane now get around that? Already Katakusa in the corner. Going to take an EX. Oh, no, a little there's bit a, drop, of a drop. But no big punish. I know Yurian not really known for punishes. Yeah. Not like those kind of like mid ranges. It can be so awkward. You have to do stuff like standing medium punch into EX headbutt, like the difficult. Uh, oh, okay. But this is huge. All right, we're oh, and we're going time. for unblockable. Let's go. Dash. dash. What do you got? There, there it is. There it is indeed. But you're still on the down foot, and no more meter for Aegis. Woo! Wait a minute, I might have lied. Going to set up the meter he yeah, here. Got oh, but a little too late to get a combo off it. But still, this is a huge situation. But wake up, throw. All right, Pop said, I'm not afraid of your meaty pressure. Kane tried, almost brought that back. But Pop yeah. now, with the full bar, has the super art Woo! one. Going to yeah. get the Katakusa. We're going to see the fierce into EX, into the corner you go. Nice. Okay, manages to escape the situation with the knee drop. And there's headbutt into the grab. Nice tech. Pops pushing in the corner. Has the resources. Gets yeah, the command grab. This is gonna hurt a lot. Probably gonna save super. Oh, okay. This is huge for Yuri, and this is his opportunity. What's the mix here? Goes low. Gets the combo, and you get big damage combos here against Makoto in the corner. Wake oh, up, Super, but, but he's got a Super, too! Yo, what just <laughs> Yo, the hit stun on that first hit of Super. Bro. What an answer! Okay. Immediately <laughs> going for the Aegis just, just to shut it down. <laughs> that was so funny. My man was sitting there getting hit for the entirety of Aegis. And there's the down jab into light headbutt tick throw. 
Kane is real. Oh, this is gonna be massive. Into the mirror. I think we're gonna go. We're gonna go for. Uh, okay, no, just just gonna Overhead. chill. The the whiff ex headbutt. We always joke that that's plus on whiff ex headbutt. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's oh. so hard to react. And nice punish on the rush punch. Kane just found. All it needed was meter. Or yeah. Age reflector and it's just situations like I was about to say. I said earlier, how can we top the Tommy two step? Match? <laughs> that situation <laughs> that you're seeing here trade there was crazy. Is just making this count. Kane with the big brain. I'm loving this. Yeah, this is an interesting matchup in general in neutral because you know Yurian, he's got very superior pokes to Makoto. Yurian at low key has some of the better pokes in the game with crouching medium kick, stand fierce stuff like that. But Makoto has the dash. That's the game changer. Makoto dash is so insane. So if she can assert her space, get in with the dash, go for command throw, this is what you have to be scared of. Yeah, just adding up a little bit, but oh. the whiff is going to get part of the Doesn't crash go for unblockable this time. Just going to go for the setup walk up. Hey, okay. Oh, drops though. Yeah, it's very tough to get double tackle there. And now chip potential. What's it going to be? You don't have an EX dash punch. You have to be extra careful here. Because a parry could spell doom. Okay. Gonna get the grab. No mirror setup. But oh. instead, another grab. Gonna put the reflector out. Yeah, get that chip. Yeah, but she did back roll. That is a necessary back roll to stay alive. Why wow, just overhead? Forward fierce. Oh, and Kane match point. Everyone's staying alive with a barely a pixel of health. These are so you know what's crazy is like. If Kane wins this, this is definitely a 2-0, but it was close. Like, every, every <laughs> round has been very close. I wouldn't have, couldn't ask for anything more. Gets the grab, pops with the corner pressure, tries oh. to command grab, a little too obvious. The escape from Kane looking good here, but still with a life deficit. Yeah, something that I like from Kane is, Kane is, oh, never mind. Let me not talk about that. Let me talk about this mix. Good block, good block on the overhead. Yeah, big guess to stand. Had to watch out, your ankles can get blessed next time. Oh, trying to escape the command throw. Just gets clipped that time. Nice anti-air headbutt, though. Damn. Sweet. Take it. Gonna get the Misses. link. There it is. That was not even a link, I don't think. Look, see, it was one hit. That just hit. Never mind. I think he might have been trying to escape command throw. Okay, okay. Felt it in their bones. And it's keeping Pops alive in this, but got to watch out. Any oh. air fireball is going to lead to this. Going to push forward with the Aegis right behind. Yeah, the corner, the corner position, oh, bro. We can definitely see Kane is looking desperate to try to escape command throw. Mm -hmm. Pops is taking advantage of that by going for normal into rush punch repeatedly. This is going to be an unblockable setup. Let's see if he pulls off the charge partition into the double dash. That hurts Ooh. Ooh. so bad. Not able to get close enough to the corner, though. But nice pick up buttons. Oh, wow. that's a neutral jump. No command grab denied. And onwards and upwards, Kane's gonna go with some stellar Urian play. Yeah, that was a real demonstration of the power of Urian. Is once Urian gets meter, it's insane the things he can accomplish, getting those unblockables, and even just using the meter to force a corner situation. That was a good tactic by Kane, utilizing the Aegis, even if it's not gonna hit. Yeah, it's gonna force the opponent into the corner where you can apply. Yurian's very powerful normals and mix-ups. We got dancing in the audience. Let's go. People are feeling good. People are feeling good about it. They're enjoying some great third strike, and I'm happy for them. Catching it live in Combo Breaker is such a good feeling. Y'all at home are having a good time, and I hope y'all are well. But there is, there's never anything like your offline majors, your locals. So make sure you're supporting, playing the games you like. And if you want people to play your games, just take them. Take them to your locals. You All it takes is two people to start things off. True. Right? So end of the day, you'll see people playing these games because they went out and said, I want to play Third Strike. And other people see that and say, yo, we're playing Third Strike. <laughs> I think a lot of people have the experience where, like, something I hear a lot is like, oh, like, I'm, I, I'm not going to go to this tournament because, like, I'm a bad player. Like, there's no point in going to Combo Breaker because, you know, I'm a scrub. I'll go 0-2. But, guys, once you go to your first major, you'll definitely be addicted, regardless of the outcome. Like, first of all, you might surprise yourself. You might put away a couple dubs. You might get close to that burrito. But even if that doesn't happen, you're going to have so much fun that uh, it's going to be hard to stop coming out. You know, Combo Breaker, Evo, Texas Showdown, CEO, these majors are so much fun to go to. But... Is Endgamer going to have fun in this matchup against Sylvester? You know, normally I think we'd be talking about how this is kind of scary for Hugo. He, he can fight it, but it's hard. Interesting but to see. It's still Gigas Breaker. Instead yeah. of going for Hammer Mountain against Chun-Li, it's going to be hard to pin down. 
But we'll see if it works out already. I in mean, the corner you go. And I feel that Sylvester put on such a show earlier that I think Sylvester's ready for the matchup. I mean, look at this. Using Hugo's footsies as well. Preventing the escape. Oh, there's no way out. I Between mean, look the body splashes, everything has just been working. No, there's been no answer to these jumps. Yeah. Gets the grab. And okay, the Sylvester having no problem uh, just yeah. aggressing Chun. Yeah, Endgamer has a few options here. Like, we saw one parry against the jump. If Chun-Li can land a parry high in the air, she can do crouch, medium kick, into super to punish. But Sylvester is looking oppressive right now. All right, getting swatted out of the sky, though. Some answers. Oh, there's the super! Just cleared at the dash. Endgamer, deer in the headlights. Going to lose a chunk of life, but still has two supers ready. I mean, that's, that's the kind of conditioning that Sylvester's doing, you know, like... Making Endgamer scared to press anything by doing stuff like repeated body splash. And then when Endgamer's scared to press a button, just dash up super. Right. But here come the stop signs. Even without that damage coming through, Endgamer taking the oh, time with the meat, meat squasher. squasher. Mm -hmm. Not a true punish, but Endgamer sat there. Jumps okay, out. trying to escape with the super jump, but Hugo's a tall boy. Oh my god, the stand roundhouse overhead. Can I say it again? Let's go, Justin. Dashing in. There's a meter no, for no, Giga's no. Breaker, but we're just denying it. Okay. <laughs> Endgamer, the last two times I tried to set Endgamer up for the super, he didn't do it. So I don't think it's going to happen. Nah, he's holding on to that resource to his chest. That's right now. Ooh. There we go. Going to bust one out. Big damage incoming into the corner. And now look at all this room that Endgamer has to walk it back. Oh, yeah. Good jump out of the normal throw there. Ooh, good. This is scary, looking a bit hairy here. Trading. Bars. All right, Ain't slowly Ooh. moving the way in. Endgamer in this corner has to be careful. Giga I, Breaker's on deck. I like the air throw. There we go. Nice jump out. You can see Sylvester wants to do a defensive command throw. Wow, solid. Endgamer, I see you Even not even using super. Winning with two full meters just on the strength of Chun-Li's keep away and pokes. Yeah, very nice. Just like seeing, like, we're not playing a ground game anymore. So just happy to get trades, get anti-airs. Seeing the air throw represented. That yeah, option where Chun Li is one of the few characters that can just meet that space, get some damage from it, and just it's so smart as the adaptation from Endgamer has been really great. In between these rounds here, I heard some distinct rowdiness from the crowd. I think the Logan crew might be out here trying to, you know, trying to feed Sylvester the necessary information to get this dub, but Endgamer going to try to hold things down with Chun. I mean, that's just the strength of Chun. She has such reach. It can be so hard for a grappler like Hugo to close that gap, but there's the big parry. Yeah, even though, even with, like, parries on those long-range normals, you only get so much. Yeah. Maybe, maybe a crouching, crouching a medium kick, but right now they're just trying, or the Sylvester's trying to work his way in, little by little, trying to clap. Yeah, to trying victory, to give Chun-Li the clap. It's not going to work, though. You got to get in there and get that meter, too. The meter could make a big difference. It's kind of scary because Chun's got that meter. She's yes. ready to go. So one mistake can get so much life loss. Oh, the there it is. The empty jump. Okay. We felt that one in the building here. Oos. Now what do you do? Oh, get just delay and clap for the chip. All right. There you go, Sylvester. Taking time. It's working out. Patience paying off. Not trying to get take uh, blow for blow against Chun-Li. And here's another advantage that Hugo has is that huge life bar. You know, Chun has two meters, which is scary, but e even two meters is not enough to kill Hugo. So uh, maybe Sylvester can afford to soak up the damage, get ready for the next round if that's what it comes down to. But Endgamer has been very patient holding onto the meter. And I mean, the trades are building up the bar, which has been really yeah. nice. And Sylvester is just in the corner here, trying yeah. to fight the way out there, get that last bit of bar back. But again, nice parry on the jump roundhouse. Hugo, you know, obviously it's hard, but he has the capabilities to play footsies with Chun and stuff like that parry. Those are the necessary ingredients. Let's oh, there's that air throw here. are talking about. Back in the corner again. There's a two-bar Chun. He just needs one of them to get this round. Oh, oh I thought it was going to be down. Super there, but now Super is a deadly threat. Again, big hit. The splash. We're going to escape. Endgamer. Endgamer back running. Back to running. The one time he goes for a throw, big tech from the Sylvester, working his way in. Any one hit from either player can spell doom as time's running low. Whoa. Sylvester wants to land the super. I can feel it. The energy in the crowd is going crazy. They want their boy to take this to game three, and I want to see it too. Let's go, Joseph. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, I'm not going to jinx it, guys. 
Oh, oh no! no! Oh. Jump back roundhouse! When we saw that normal whiff under the jump in, we both thought a command throw was coming, but... I felt that, but no. And now match point for Endgamer, who is now just yeah. two bars, ready to walk down the Sylvester, but Sylvester who's hit every Gigas Breaker they've gone for, and they're ready with another one. Yeah, I've noticed Sylvester's doing a lot of empty jumping, doesn't oh, see exactly that reason. Tries for a hard read on the jump out. No punish though, so they're in a good spot. Taking little trades. Yeah. Nice parry. You see Hugo has the life to afford, you know, these little hits and these stray hits when you're trying to get in, you can afford it because one throw like that, a little out of range. Oh, oh. but pun goes right under the jump roundhouse. Big damage, another bar ready, almost ready available. Oh no, the crouch roundhouse. There it is, the super! This is gonna nearly even up the life total, I think. Just yeah. about does it. So is one? It no! Yes! It is! <laughs> he walked up! He walked up and got the 360. That was insane! The one time you get a hard knockdown after a super. Anything yeah. else with a hard knockdown. Yeah. I love the fact that the Sylvester just took that time. I have Pixels, I can walk forward. You're in throw range. I get the scoop, and I can't believe we're going to a game. And let, let me put on my my deep, deep theory crafting hat here. We did see Sylvester with the anti air grab earlier. That kind of put the Inception idea in Endgamer's head that jumping might be a bad idea. Sylvester was looking for it, but that time knew he was going to sit still, get thrown. We're going to game three. Let's get hype, folks. Oh my goodness, to see if Endgamer is going to turn up the offense or is going to go back to sitting down, Woo. letting Sylvester run rampant and get meter and get uh, opportunities. Yeah, those oh. trades, those oh. trades are good for Hugo. Yeah, parry into jab. That's definitely a good option for Chun because the move is so fast, but this is a very dangerous situation for Chun. Yeah, like what I'm seeing Sylvester using whatever tools just to get close. Because yeah. no, Chun Li's not gonna do any combos outside Woo. using super, there's the jump fierce, but then getting punished by a grab. And now we're down to a pixel here for Chun Li. Yeah, nothing fancy here from Sylvester. Just poking with jab. I mean, Hugo's got the biggest jab in the game. And match point. Sylvester running this all the way back. I mean, what a Has comeback! Gigas Breaker Two is gonna put. Probably gonna connect. They've seen him. Um, I mean, the success rate of Gigas Breaker has been unreal from the Sylvester. Really amazing stuff. Okay. Big wake up. Gotta watch out though. Gotta show some respect to Gigas Breaker. Oh, I love the walk back there from Endgamer. Not trying to take too much unnecessary risk. You got a whole screen to work with, but you're eating these claps. They're adding up. Yeah, Sylvester with the life lead. Endgamer's got to find Woo! a way to get in, but instead goes for the hop over. Room is here for Endgamer with a lot of bar. The parry, Ooh! the walk forward. Uh-oh. Crouching medium kick knockdown. Goes for the overhead close. Fierce, the clap gets parried. But yeah, you can't really do much on that parry when it hits media like that. Oh, this is scary. Look at, look, look at the Sylvester buffering. Just yeah. pushing forward, timing parries as they just have so much of a lead in the trade. Wow, it worked. It worked. The trade, the awkward handshake. They're so flustered they can't even find each other's hands. Endgamer is going to get sent down to losers. I mean, that was a ridiculous comeback, my man. And that was a beautiful pop from the crowd for the Logan Arcade. But what an amazing match. Seeing a Hugo topple Chun Lee only here at Combo Breaker from uh, the Sylvester. No, another hometown hero. But I believe before this next match, we are going to hit you guys with a short ad break before we get to the end of this pool. So stay tuned because, guys, the matches are only getting better here at Combo Breaker. There's plenty more Combo Breaker 2023 action coming at you on the way. But first, let's take a quick commercial break. If you want to add to your Combo Breaker Merch Legacy Collection, don't forget to head over to the Combo Breaker shop to check out all the amazing merch. Get yours before they run out. Red Bull gives you wings. Ready? Street Fighter 6. Fight. <laughs> Six. Welcome to the Chipotle Challenger Series featuring Street Fighter 6. Grab a friend and play against the best for a chance to win over $30,000 in prizes. Free Chipotle for a year and a pay trip to Evo. Sign up today at ChipotleChallengerSeries.com.
all these amazing Kwamba arcade sticks using the code COMBOBREAKER2023. Available all weekend at KwambaUSA.com. Take charge of your game with Hitbox, the button-only arcade controller with improved performance, accuracy, and speed. Stop by their booth and test it out today. When it comes to fire tech and gear, Tenno has the matchup. Make sure to check out all the tech and merch by scanning the code on the screen or visiting tenno.gg slash merch. Mortal Kombat 1 ushers in a new era of the iconic franchise with a new fighting system, game modes, and fatalities. Discover a reborn Mortal Kombat universe created by the fire god Liu Kang featuring reimagined versions of iconic characters as they've never been seen before. Sign up via the QR code or at the website on the screen for a chance to join the upcoming Mortal Kombat 1 online stress test. Mortal Kombat 1 will be available on September 19th. Pre-order your copy today. All right, welcome back to Combo Breaker 2023. We have our final winners qualifying match here in Pool C as Jamarvelous and Tech Neo are going to be dueling to see who makes that top 48. I am ready for another amazing match to send us off to finish this block. I mean, come on. The level of play that we've been seeing in these matches has been out of control, and I think we're about to see another really impressive one here. Jamarvelous versus Tech S Neo. All right, all right. This is going to be big. We want to see who else qualifies on the winner's side. We had three crazy matches beforehand, Ooh. and now we get a classic. Ken Ooh. versus Chun and Tech Neo Ooh. going oh. the aggression, knowing that I'm Ken. As long as Chun doesn't have resources with Super oh. Hit, I can go ham. Fireworks already. I mean, okay, gets the throw into the corner, though. This can... Oh, almost, almost. I mean, we've been saying all day that those wake-up Shoryukens have had a very high success rate, and that continues to be the case. Speaking of success, Jamarvelous finally gets the bar, successfully yeah. getting the combo, Ooh. gets a parry, gets a throw, and now we're at one throw or pixel. Yeah. There's grab. Chun throw, such a crazy threat when combined with her walk speed. Jamarvelous, you know, things were on the ropes, but, you know, the power of Chun-Li, super, the comeback potential is always there as long as she has meter. Every time it's been the Fierce Heavy Punch, or the, the Fierce any air and it's just consistently Whoop. working, but Jamarvelous tying up the damage pretty easily. Yeah, that jump roundhouse can lead. Oh, okay, no super off that crouch medium kick. Another anti-air DP. What game is this? Oh, well, these parries are reminding me of third strike. There's the punish, and ideal big damage. Yeah, okay, doesn't get the follow-up. Nah, uh, unfortunate. I like the parry in between there. Just <laughs> yeah, block the it single, out. I don't got to do anything more. <laughs> the single parry, and Jamarvelous is going to take game one. Yeah, it was, a, it was a key block on the wake-up DP. We've seen enough of those that maybe was getting a little bit predictable. All right, makes the grade. I mean, like, Tech S Neo has, like, their style. And it's just a little too wild. Well. They're having oh, fun, they're though. That's a good time, it. though. They're partying, all right? I think sometimes you know when the wake-up DP gets blocked. It's like, ah, okay, you got me. <laughs> you knew on that one. Oh, we're getting the character switch, though, into right. Yang. Okay, our first time we're seeing Yang in this block. And we'll see what Tech Neo can bring out with this, the other brother. Yeah. And this is an interesting super choice, too. This is Super Art 1, which is not the most common choice. Most people prefer 2 because it gives you access to more super meter or more ex meter that is i've but never seen someone dp so much <laughs> yeah or go even for like yang. these kind of committal anti airs and it's hey that's that style i like it i would say that you know yang can fight chun quite effectively because chun's one of her weaknesses is well right as i say it hit by the super but she can have a hard time against dive kick you know characters who can just relentlessly rush her down it can be hard for her to deal with but this is the the anti-air super ain't no way Oh, try to get the grab, the potential not coming through, and this is oh so even. Nice. And again. another anti-air DP. We got those all day. A little outrange for. Whoa! Oh, maximum parry, not enough. No! Oh, <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? The fireball. What am I seeing with my eyes right now? So yeah, that's the thing with Yang, right? Is that. His Rekka is an extremely powerful, extremely safe move with one downside, which is that this is a game with parry. So if you're fighting against a player like Jamarvelous, who seems to be on point with these parries, it can be a little bit dangerous to go for those tactics like crouching medium kick into Rekka. Yeah, you gotta be a little cognizant of it. Yeah. And right now, like, you know, Tecmeo's staying out of range where he can react, get these anti airs. Tried it, yeah. but you know what? Wow. Was ready to mash out. Uh oh. <laughs> Raw Super is going to connect, push into the corner here. Misses the stomp, though. 
Oh Oh my god, we're just whiffing. Yeah. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? I mean, Yang, a relatively short range character, so it's going to be hard to contest those normals. No punish. Too far, unfortunate. Yep. Didn't get a full combo, and now it's match point to Marvelous with bar and a half and a big lead here in this set. Yeah, I wonder if Tech Neo is going to be looking to land this super or if maybe the meter is better spent on EX Rekka. But there's a quick confirm. Okay, Goes reset. for the cross under reset, but just mashing your way out there. So only needs three throws. Oh, one more super? That's not going to work. Are we going to get the parry? No, we're just going to no, wait it out. Okay. Ooh, oh, not a very strong punish there, unfortunately, but didn't want to risk the parry on the last hit. And that's going to be Curtains. Jamarvelous takes it. All right, 2 0, qualifies and winners. Top 48. Well done to them meeting up these other amazing players in that top 48, which will be happening later on. But what a fun way to finish off that with that. Honestly, just very violent. I never <laughs> it I, was. Yeah, very different styles. We've <laughs> yeah. seen all throughout, and that was really cool. All right. Uh, well, guys, I hate to say we have to go. I mean, it's sad. Those were so exciting matches. I don't want to say goodbye, but don't worry. You're in good hands. There's going to be a lot more exciting third strike action. And I've been J.M. Crofts. I'm Raph. It was a blast. I hope you enjoyed it. Just day one of Combo Breaker. Much more action to come. So stay tuned and have a great night so far.